where you guys left last left off, you guys were on the outskirts of the camp to the north. I think you guys you guys are on the same page. Let me make sure you guys are on that page there. Yeah, you guys are in the overview map. Let me focus ping. Boop. You guys are heading towards that encampment to the north. And you just dealt with the outskirt uh Yep. Are you guys going to proceed forward to the camp? No, I think we should turn around and go home. I'm tired of this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's go towards the camp. Okay. You mean we're going to assault the Ferptress? Sorry, the Ferptress. <laughs> That's the dam. Damn. You got that orc space, space port, orc fortress capital, camp encampment. All right, to the camp we go then. Oh, how are you guys gonna approach the camp? I ho, I ho. It's off to work we go. Fire blazing. <laughs> you guys gonna go hit me to head on? You want going guns blazing? Damn. You got it's some fire blazing. You do have the dreadnought. Yeah, Gobler. It is <laughs> very damn true. But I will remind you guys that uh, my frontal armor is compromised. Yeah. Turn around and go in back first. <laughs> yeah. You guys have anything to prepare, prepare yourself? I mean, we just engaged one of the small camps, right? Yep. Yeah. Because we had to rescue the, the dreadnought. Uh, <clears throat> I thought we was going to scout the place first. Find a better way in than just the front door. I mean, that's well, always if, the best entrance. If Funk is saying this, then possibly we should all reconsider. <laughs> I'm just as intelligent as the system. Because <laughs> yeah, I am. Our intelligence scores are roughly the same. <laughs> <laughs> I think mine's slightly higher since I leveled up last. Yeah, I think you did get your boost, but before you got that boost, we were the same intelligence score. Yeah. Or, or somewhere near it, yeah. Perhaps I could go in and scout and find a proper entrance. The Don't giant? think a dreadnought's going to be a good scout. The, the giant dreadnoughts egg. are a scout. I'm, no, uh, he's, he's using Rickatil. Yeah. He swaps his whole avatar. Oh, yeah. You, you I should. also swapped my voice. I don't Probably know if you guys noticed. Nope. Yeah, yeah, I, I did. That sounds like a good deal. I'll go with you. Oh. I think That's, this is from the uh, previous encounter. Oh, yeah. Yep. Go ahead and do an awareness check. All of us? Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say uh, plus plus sixty. So you would pass. Oh, good. I nice can't fail. <laughs> Hold up! I need to open everybody. Oh my god! I yeah. rolled a ninety-eight and I still got a two point six success. Right. So, nice. so everyone who passed, I technically passed. But even with a plus 60, I have a good chance of failing. Great. Uh, let's see. You hear a loud explosion in the distance. Oh, what's that then? I don't know, I didn't hear it. Well, you definitely heard it like three or four times. Well, I'm <clears throat> I have a team, remember? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can just do it once for you in that team. Yeah, yeah dude, bro. I, I like to have the multiples. Okay. I like to do the multiples. You hear it if you don't mind. You hear it come from this direction. Which above me? Uh oh. The direction of basically of the Loud. 
Perhaps, Perhaps we should make haste, brothers. Sounds like the orcs took care of themselves. Okay. <laughs> or they have something planning. We should not head straight to sound. We should veer out of an angle to left or right. Okay, do another word check, guys. About no. the past. Another plus 60? Plus 80. Well, alright, I could still fail. I didn't. What's that small object whirling straight towards us? Why is it making a whistling sound? Big cover! Dodge! Yeah, hold up. Move, move, move! And I move off the map. Okay. Roll. Oh, I meant the GM roll, damn it. Yeah, I know. I definitely get out of the way. Okay. Oh, also, I buffed everybody's agility, so we have double agility bonus and thus double movement speed. Yay. Yay. Woo. Ray, fate point expenditures. Well, we should probably look at the fire points. Alright. Sweet. So. Oops. And then if you guys want to do one last word to check, you can. Is it plus 100 this time? And it's going to be plus 80 still. Okay. It's for the explosion. For what happens before it hits the ground. So you see basically a giant uh, killer can come out of the sky with no arms or legs, just like flopping through the sky. That little green pack it had, the other two you killed, and just explode in a big ball of goo, melting the ground around. Right. A killer can came flying out? Yep. They, launched, left of they, launched, they launched, yeah, they launched the torso of it. Huh. And it's That's an expensive grenade. Yeah. It's filled with all that acid stuff. Yeah, or it looked like a kill. From your guys' perspective, it looked like a killer can. If you were to describe it to. to... <clears throat> so, you guys vacating the, the encampment now? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Probably. If we're getting kill a can catapulted. <laughs> I think Some, things we should... Some things we should take that out, else it may hinder the rest of the mission. I concur, Thunk. I don't know. Orcs are pretty stupid. They might keep firing this at their own base. Uh, so we go to the east and force them to fire their cannons there. Yeah, all over the dam. Just melt the dam. Yeah, and um, about every 30 seconds or so, they're lobbing these at you guys. Pretty consistent pace. It's like they have multiple of whatever it is in the distance. Is it all coming from the same kind of direction? Yep. From our north, but not like the northeast? Yeah, just coming from that encampment. Yeah, I definitely think we should take out those things. Yeah. Or use them to our advantage. And... Thunk don't want to dodge raining hell. <laughs> yeah. You guys are going to be taking dodge checks here shortly. Uh, let's see, the first one way off. Get on the bike. At least yeah. I get on one of the bikes. I wait for somebody who can drive it. Yeah, three dodge checks from y'all. Uh, your guy's gonna get a plus twenty, just because these are big, loud, obnoxious things. So, and it's at a far distance. I don't you know don't if I can dodge because I'm a uh, dreadnought. 
Maybe I can. I'll give it to you for now. So your character can do it. Or you can shoot him out of the sky. Either one. So what, you bury them. No, minus 60 if you're shooting him out of the sky. Oh, I can't kill these guys. No, I mean for dodging. Yes. Boko. Maybe I minus should just have a four. Minus, minus 60? Alright. Yeah, for you. It's first dodge check. So you're gonna shoot the thing? Uh yeah, you said three dodge checks, right? Yeah, so there's about three coming in your guys' general area, probably landing and impacting so. And you're gonna take some splash damage or I'll have to roll to see how much splash damage you're gonna take from this thing. I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and shoot it out of the sky since I failed miserably on the dodging. Okay, you get one chance for each one. And you get a uh, minus 50 to shooting it. Alright. Since it's a fairly difficult target to hit, but fairly large, so you get uh, plus 10 for that. So, so minus, minus 50 40. total? Minus. Minus 40 because you get plus 10 for since it's a colossal target or a large target. Alright. Same size as you. So. First one's a miss. Second one is a hit. Third one is a miss. Alright. Uh, let me roll the damage, guys. Oh boy. You're not going to take the full damage. Just, uh, do, I, do I need to roll damage to see if it was destroyed? The one that it's I actually hit? Destroyed. No, it's destroyed instantly. They have those giant... You guys already have acknowledged hitting the can will kill these things. The, yeah. the thing on the back. So your guy can automate shoot that thing down. You're probably the only one who could probably blast the crap out of it. Yep. You have built in bats. Well, <laughs> but that that's just constantly giving uh giving ourselves the position. Yep. Wait, did you say vats? <laughs> beep beep bleep. <laughs> Sorry, I had to make the noise. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna roll and we're gonna see. Mine is fifty. See if, see if these actually hit you. So, you said how many got you? Three or two? Hold on. Two of them landed. Okay. Okay. They they impact for far distance from you, so you're fine. Okay. Few. Mm-hmm. And everyone else dodged it, so you're good. You guys weren't in the blast zone. It appears the orcs are not very adequate at hitting their mark. Give them time. <laughs> Damn, I must have jinxed it. Thunk not afraid now. of their... Thunk not afraid of their accuracy. Thunk afraid of their quantity. <laughs> right. I wonder how far away they'll fire these things at us. We should get real close and see. No, distance away from so, they're, they're, you guys are about five kilometers out, and so that's within artillery range. So, most mo most modern artillery, you're going to probably be like 20, 30 clicks out. Warning, you are in range of enemy artillery. <laughs> so, you're probably going to be within range, like, for a long while. But you don't know the range of their guns. Thunk still think we should go and take them out. What if we have our ships take them out? Bombard them I to mean, the other regions. But if that was the case, they could have just bombarded the Citadel. That, uh, <laughs> so, your guys' intel is that they have control of the, the space, the, basically the space around this planet. So, you guys were literally inserted, dropped in. And then you have no uh, overall assets. Hmm. So this is 
here, kill the leader, kill, you know, cut the head off from the, the snake type of mission. You guys are all on your own. That's why they drop pod and surgery to all you guys. Just saying, I mean, if it's standard artillery and they can go 30 km, they'll probably be stupid enough to keep shooting at us. Even beyond range. Please, I mean, yeah. well within their range, because they could, we could walk into their base and they could still be firing at us. Mm-hmm. So what are you guys going to do? Are you guys going to get closer, or are you guys going to proceed with the mission? I forget. Was part of the mission destroying the dam, or did I just... No. No, that's just something you can do if you no, want. No, the, the, the only no, mission the is... The only mission is to kill... There were side objectives. Rucker Gorefist. There were side objectives, weren't there? Yeah. Yeah. Let me go look at it. Probably disrupting or, you know, things or whatever. Return any important artifacts to the Inquisitor. Retrieve any fallen space marines, gene seed from the battlefield. And then there's a location where, where you guys are in the space. So. Oh, okay. That's it. It's just to kill Grucker Gorefist. Return of Grucker Gorefist. Yeah. So I'm going to roll to see how many seconds before I lob more shells to you guys. Right. Well, so we're heading for the camp to destroy the artillery, right? We are it's, now. It's where I'm commanding us to go. Yeah. I just keep pointing in the direction. Go, go. All right. Waiting for the biker, the driver of my bike, to get on the bike and drive us. You guys. Who was driving again? It. It doesn't matter who drives. I, I, I okay. think dude was a driver, and then or dude, one of the dude's guys is a driver, and then Tess was a driver, possibly his rookie. Yeah. I'm too small. So the bikes are just. Uh, they're just the transport from point A to point B. Like, yeah. You know, yeah. Not to worry about it too much or think too hard about it. Okay. So, how are you approaching this uh, installation? They know we're here. They know where your current location is at, and they're bombarding that area, so yeah. Current location or last location? Who's the best at driving a bike? So. Because we can have that person just make a whole bunch of noise around one side and everybody else come into the other side. Right. So as yeah, Seems as a bit you dangerous. Are, I like as it. You guys are Mar space marines. Everything is dangerous. <laughs> and easy. You can roll for awareness check and to see if the artillery is following you as you guys are moving. How do I zoom? I hate that. Any bonuses or minuses? Uh, minus 50. Oh. oh, I can't possibly succeed. Brother Rookie, or Rorky, has agility of 70, and that goes towards driving. <clears throat> He's probably the best person for that job. Who me? No, driving the driving to his uh, the other side of the camp and uh, distract everything. What was the uh, observation roll? Minus fifty. Minus, Minus fifty. Yeah, yeah just because you guys are kind of like on bikes, focusing on that, and so you'd have to sit there and like observe if they're if it's actively coming at you guys. So and that would take some concentration. So Virlo, your guy, notices that the artillery seems to be somewhat following you guys. It's obviously lagging behind you guys as you're moving on your bikes. The second Virlo one should not be Virlo. That should be uh, Neil Tyson. Okay. Well, Rooketeel. All right. Rooketeel knows it. Or wait, the second one? So who's the first one? No, v Virlo's the first one. Okay. So I notice what now? Sorry. You notice the artillery 
the the artillery is like you because your bikes are way fast yeah so as you guys are going through the terrain and trying to find a way into this encampment you notice the artillery is lagging behind you guys and that, they're, that the rate of fire is increasing it appears that they're unable to adjust their aim to lead us significantly while we're on our bikes but they are following us you dodge yes, yes. uh do no more here yeah do no. a dodge check Big tin walking man, not as fast as bike. So we definitely need to take out artillery. Oh, yeah. I don't think rookie, rookie birdman should go on bike, make lots of noise, distract them, while the rest of us go around back and shoot them up real nice. Modifiers? Uh, you're going to get a plus, plus 50 to this. And then who else was the biker? I can't Peace. believe I'm saying this, but I agree with Thunk. Yeah, you just hear a whirl in front of you, and you see it come down in front of you, and you dodge, easily dodge that, and you kind of leave the pack of bikes with you. As it seems that they're now leading the time. Ooh. Alright, so we're making a break for this. How are again. they... How are they detecting us? Trying to deduce how they're detecting you. Mm-hmm. Uh, intelligence. Modifier. Minus six. Uh, do you have Xenos lore or anything like that? For orcs. No. Yeah, we okay. have we have Xenos Someone. lore. I think I do. I should. Not not for oh, Xenos. Uh, I mean, yeah, we don't every, have... Every Space Marine's got Xenos lore, but it's not... Oh, it's not specific? Okay, they just Xenos... It's not anyone specific. Is... Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Ah, I have Forbidden Lore. Okay. Anyone, forbidden anyone... Lord Xenos. Well, Xenos is Forbidden Lore. Oh, okay. Then. Yeah, uh, that's Forbidden Lore possible. all. So give yourself a plus 10 for Xenos lore. Are we rolling Xenos lore or rolling Intelligence? Oh, it's an intelligence check, plus 10. Or you can roll the Xenos lower, whatever you want to do. Whatever is the better modifier for y'all. I'll do Xenos. Yeah, but plus 10. The intelligence is just general intelligence, like... And then Xenos is like, okay, specifically... So, like, the, will that become 10 total, or is it going to be minus 40? Total. It'll be minus, minus 40. <laughs> uh, oh. You guys want to spend a fate <laughs> point and make that auto succeed? Hang on, hang on. I haven't rolled yet. Okay. Well, one of us has succeeded. Mine succeeded. I got a 7.4. Yeah. What is it uh, again? The modifier? Minus 40. So, Moth, your character would know that more than likely these orcs have got a hold of horrible assets above you and are tracking you guys. That's the only thing, that's the only conclusion you can draw. You don't see anything in the sky. Skies look pretty clear. Well, also orc magic. Uh, also, orc magic. That's like another thing. Seeing eye rock. It, well, you do. You guys do <laughs> recall the last time you were here. There was those the weird boys doing experiments on captives, and you guys murdered the captives. If you recall, was that like on the second mission was or something? Any of us here for that one? The only one that was Dan's character. So no, your characters would never not know of this. No, I would know of that. Yeah, the Dreadnought would. Dreadnought would. Oh, yeah, yeah, However, yeah, yeah. because I'm a Dreadnought, I have to uh, make an opposed check uh, because of my weight of years. Go for it. And the, the hilarious thing is it's been literal years, too. Like yes. in real life. <laughs> oh, like, uh, a year, yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys uh, all, all forgot about it, too. It's like, I didn't forget. I remember clearly making that weird boy. You guys murdering them? <laughs> so it's like we took joy in that. Hey, you guys are just being space marines. I was like I, I was like I was gonna see what your character's demeanor would be like. Are they merciful or are they just standard space marines? Yeah, they're standard space marines. So weight of years yeah. is none of us salamanders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Weight of years is an opposed role to uh, intelligence or and fellowship. It would be. Well, 90 years have passed, but uh, so how many years have passed since you dreadnought? 
probably a year or two. In sense, you were incubating for a while there. Yeah, so, what is this, the, excuse me, an intelligence check? Yeah. Or Xenos lore. So. Oh, are you talking about the, the, your thing? Yeah, intelligence check, right. Yep. Modifier. Minus 20. Okay, well, I failed anyway. Yeah, you don't remember. Does anyone want to uh, spare fate point? Sure, I got plenty. All right. Actually, I could have Virlo spare fate point. Well, I mean, you share that because your mech doesn't have fate point. It's you Correct. and the other guy. You have three fate points. Yes. Uh, actually, Virlo only has a threshold of two now. I guess I permanently burned a fate point at one point. Something. I can't remember why. Anyway. Uh, so, Moth, you're spending a fate point? Yeah, yeah. Alright. So it'll be minus ten this time. Oh my god. You really don't know. Alright, I'm spending a fate point of my own for this. Okay. Oh. oh. So now I have to roll a 1d10 opposed roll. But it, I don't know exactly how the opposed roll works. It's not clear on that. Roll well, opposed somebody 1D10. else has to roll, so. Well, I'll post 1d10 right to intelligence or fellowship bonus on relevant checks. Okay, so it's intelligent bonus. My intelligence bonus is 5, so I have to roll lower than a 5? No, it's not 1d10 plus 5, it's just Well, 1D10. if it's an opposed roll, you're rolling against somebody else, right? I'm rolling against myself. That's yeah, it's way against of the roll. Ugh. So it's a it's an opposed one d ten to my intelligence or fellowship bonus for relevant checks. So I have to beat a five. Or, okay, is it going to be higher? Uh, or beat lower? a five lower or beat a five higher is the question. I'm guessing it's lower because it's degrees of failure system. So we're going to go with lower. Well, no, this. no, it it would be higher, right? Maybe. We got to make a decision on this. So what's the check about? It's whether I even succeed. Yeah. No, but why are you making it? Okay, because I'm a remember. dreadnought, I have a debuff called Weight of Years. So every time I make an intelligence or a uh, fellowship check, I have to beat my own uh, uh, intelligence bonus or fellowship bonus. With a 1d10 roll. I, I'm making an opposed roll. To One see would if imagine I can it get would it. be lower then because yeah. increasing the stats should make it easier. Right? Okay. So, um, so we'll see if it's a tie or not, but uh, lower is a success then. Oh, nope. God damn it. You don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Hmm, I seem to... I, I feel like I've seen this somewhere before, but I can't be certain, brothers. My sincerest apologies. Okay. That's the way the cookie crumbles. Alright. Okay, uh, what direction are you guys going to approach this base from? I think we're just beelining it, aren't we? Because we don't want to get hit by more arty on our way in. I say we hook around and go from the west. 
Yeah, I just wanted to go at an angle, not directly to it. Yeah. All right, west it is. Well, northwest, and then we head east. Flanking it from the west. Okay. I was going to say, the counter's almost set up. I just got to put down the guys. Yeah. So all it says for an opposed test is just simply whoever has the most uh, successes. And if there's a tie, it's uh, whoever has the highest uh, characteristic bonus wins. So your I, little thing, I have no idea what it's, what rule it's trying to utilize for its opposed test. If you're rolling a D10. Yeah, that's why I find it weird that it's specifically stated opposed test, because opposed tests are supposed to be against somebody else. Or something else. Alright, let me counter. Approaching guys. Ah, oh, crap. Boop, boop. I hate when I don't get the right layer. Okay. Boop. There we go. That looks better. Sorry, I'm just setting the encounter for you guys. Do, do, do. Said uh, northwest. Right. I'm over there. Oh, it says he has to roll equal to or under his intelligence bonus on a 1d10. If he fails, he does not recall the knowledge. Okay. All right, so, so that's what happened. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's not an opposed roll. It's just he just has to roll under equal or under his intelligence bonus. Or his fellowship bonus if he's doing a fellowship check. So what is it I have to roll under? You gotta get a 5 or lower. And Equal to or under. Whenever you make an intelligence or fellowship skill test. Got it. Otherwise, you fail to recall, or you don't awaken enough to properly communicate. <laughs> he hasn't had his robo-coffee. Yeah. Which would explain the acid burns. Robo coffee sounds like heresy. Sounds like so secret oils a, to thunk. So that's the human form robot guy that spontaneously combusted. <laughs> Almost. God, hurry up. What's taking you so long? Goodness. Setting up the encounter. Gotta be fun. Okay. Hey, hey, don't know, piss just, off the GM, okay? I'm just giving you shit. He might throw a orc demon at us. You had a whole bunch. <laughs> uh, I... I'm not actually on roll 20, perpetually, but no. Ugh, I set up the characters and the encounters are set up on the fly. For you guys. Okay, you guys have port from the northwest. I think you guys are all there. Double check. I seem to be missing. 
You're in the upper... Yeah, there you are. Looks like I have everything. Sweet. So, and the artillery guys, so, so you guys can see it. It's right there. And they appear to be using tractors to mount the artillery. Well, unfortunately, I don't have tractor assets. They're not tractor artillery assets, so... Well, the orcs have artillery assets, and they're they, actively they, using they, them. They do. These are artillery. That's the artillery pieces right yeah. there. Yeah. So you got right. to use your imagination. So, analog. What? Imagination? What? what is that? What are you talking about? This is clearly a visual-based game, Boko. Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> I can't What's use my imagination to play... <laughs> Play-Doh's Cave. <laughs> uh, I'm just a frog in a well, man. Yep. Just a frog in a well. So you're stealthy, stealthily approaching this. This is what you guys see in the distance. And you definitely see the killer cans from a distance. You see the artillery pieces. And you see the orcs. Uh, looks like a hive of activity of them working on these things. So I'm noticing that there's pillars. Is there going to be force fields between these pillars, like there was they will, before? They're blue, and they will disintegrate us upon touch. Yeah. So looking at these, these look like orc bunkers. And they have guns facing in all directions. Oh, okay. From these, from these things. And you see kind of like... So they're WOG right. banners. Yeah, go ahead, do an awareness. Like, plus, plus 50. Plus 50, all right. Now you're talking my language. You guys, you guys can all make a check too. Oh, okay. Well, good thing I had that plus 50. Uh huh. I would have succeeded anyway. <laughs> Barely. What do I see, GM? Illustrious GM. So you see. What does a Space Marine I see? Right, <laughs> so you guys all see the. That spray gun that was on that, uh, the killer cam from, or you see them on all these little platforms as well, aiming outwards. And you see the kind of the, them dripping out, out the, the nozzle. Are the Moth rolled a 99 again. <laughs> yeah, right? I'm glad I'm getting these out of the way. Yeah. And you see machine guns, you see rocket launchers, you see orcs going to and fro. Any big green tank of goo? You see, you see that over here. Doop, 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 doop. You see two limb rust tanks modified. The I uh, the the acid tanks. Oh no no no. But uh yeah but these are modified with that green goo as well so. You suspect they have the the offensive gutta super sprayer. Is what you hear them talk. <laughs> Damn. I'm just wondering how they're showing their artillery. Oh, you guys gonna watch and observe, see how they're doing it? Well, you see they you see that they have a pile of killer like killer can torsos. Are they all filled with the green goo? You see three piles of it. And you just see a couple of orcs stand up on top of them and just piss into the can? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, so are you observe are you gonna observe and see where they're getting this this acid from? Yeah. How long are you guys gonna spend doing that? Until I'm gonna sneak acid? into a position here. I'm gonna see if anyone else is sneaking. I am sneaking. If I'm uh, assuming Rock. if I'm no assuming. one else tries to get closer, then I'm just gonna shoot. <laughs> I'm assuming you guys ditched the bikes uh, far out and then yeah. came on on foot. Yeah. So where your bikes, where you left the bikes, that's where the artillery last struck. All right. So. It's 
so. like they were targeting the bikes. Yeah, boom, boom. So. Um, I mean, I don't think there's really a point in sneaking here. Well, maybe, because of the two Lehman Rust tanks. Okay, here's, here's my thought process. If we can find where they're storing the green goo, we can blow it up and kill a lot of them all at once. Yeah. And it'll save on frustrations for, you know, having to fight that much green goo. True. Um, well, we did, we do know that there's three piles of, uh, Killican corpses. Yep, so, and I asked if they were filled and I didn't get an answer. Ah, yeah, let's watch to see if they're being filled or if they're already filled. So go ahead, roll awareness check, Moth. From this distance, you can't really tell, you just know that they're there. Plus or minus anything. Minus minus sixty on this one. Hey. You observe that they uh -huh. do appear to be empty, and that they possibly are filling these and then launching them. Okay, then how are they filling them? That's for you to figure out, isn't it? Well, if I was watching them do it, <laughs> how would they fill them? They're just pissing into them this whole time. Well, no, I mean, you're observing them, like, uh, cheering that they hit whatever they're hitting, it seems. Because so, all, all the artillery is aimed in your, your vehicle's last direction. So they're not actively loading anything right now. So... You just kind of see the orcs cheering, gyrating, and a couple of... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, sorry. And a couple possibly heading that direction. So they're headed right towards us. Yeah, I thought. Um, I'd like to... Are these dudes... Are the dudes next to the artillery different than the other ones? That's the piles. Of the, those are the piles. Gotcha. Yeah, that's just the piles. Of the... Back here, let me let me make them bigger. So, so the metal-looking things are just the piles of tin cans. Okay. Yeah, I'll make them bigger so you guys can. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, there's piles of tin cans right there. <clears throat> Maybe putting both snipers against the same rock was a bad choice. So. I would like to wait until this. I'm also a sniper. So, is you, are you actually looking where that line of green stuff was coming from? Minus. Yeah. yeah, minus 60, whoever's looking for that. Okay. I'm just watching these uh, three orcs that are moving towards us. They don't see us yet, do they? No. Alright. In mind, we got that. Uh... Plus 20 bonus, because Space Marines. We're making awareness checks. Well, the Space Marines get the plus 20 bonus, because Space Marines. I get it too, because I took all the perks that give it. Nice. So you failed? Yep. Okay. You get a fate point there, you're just gonna... No, I'm just gonna leave it. It was a 49. I'm also gonna do an awareness check to see if I can okay. figure anything out. Yeah, he was specifically looking to see what oh, that was. No. Oh, no. That's a I'm going to fade point that for you. <laughs> All right. Oh, no. It's just an awareness check, guys. What could possibly go wrong? Guys, see? they're coming from space. <laughs> they're raining down on us right now. I'm There's thinking more rain. like up. it's a reverse a awareness check. Him. So now the orcs see where we are because I'm very conspicuously trying to shoot the things coming check. at you from the sky. They're just firing wildly into the air. <laughs> yeah, no, that's why I'm fate pointing it for you. Please reroll that. All right. Oh. Anyone else want to look? Better than a hundred. Yeah, better than a hundred. You're right. Thunk, want to look? 
What was it, minus 50? Minus 60? Yeah, I wouldn't make it. Not even gonna try. What, dude? My perception with my plus 20 in awareness is only a 39. Yeah, but what if Oof. you crit success? If I roll a zero, it's Wait. still like negative two degrees of failure. Oh, I could do awareness. Minus 50. 60. 60? Yeah, it's just... <laughs> That's a 5% it, chance. Yeah, it's just because it's so obscured, like, what's going on. You guys would be very... You'd be hard-pressed to see how they're doing it. So. I mean, it's a minus 40 for Space Marines, because you have plus 20 to observation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're That's minus right. 40. Okay. You can roll that again, then. Uh, okay. Give me a minute. Minus 40. Yeah, you guys have no idea how they're loading them. It's orc magic. Yep, as far as you're Must aware. Be. And I'm assuming the Dreadnought is... Yeah, you're... Crouched? I'm... He's in stealth mode. He's got the eye and it's closed. The eye of Sauron? No, the Skyrim sneak eye. Oh. Well, let's see. I'm gonna see... You are not stealthy, so... Are well, you I'm not moving or anything either. I'm are kind you... of just staying in place. <laughs> You're hiding behind the one lone little tree. Yeah. Trying to stay as still as possible. They can't see me. I can't see them. Here, let me... I'll do... Oh, why is your perception like nothing? <laughs> uh, let's see... I'm gonna see if they see you. Yeah, they noticed the dreadnought. So, uh, yeah. You see a hive activity again. I fire. Okay. Same. All right. Same. I hit. What are you What are you shooting at specifically? I don't know. Somebody. Yeah. Uh, this, guy. this guy. Okay. Oh. <laughs> are they within range? I've got a 300 meter range, so yeah, they're. Oh, I have 500 range. meters. I think that's I two to 10. 600. 200 to 600. So. I'm shooting the target. Oh, I got hit. T I met I hit some wise that added that modifier. I if need to go with 15 for a pin doesn't kill that orc, let me know and I'll roll some more uh, righteous furies. Hmm. That Rolling a 5, it doesn't hit the head, does it? It's Oh, I can actually uh pinpoint uh I'm pinpoint. I can I can hit the head. I can dedicate it and hit it with no penalties. Oh, nice. Yep. Oh, right, we had time to aim, didn't we? Yep. All right, then, yeah, we're fucking shooting at the head. Uh, AFK for a minute. Yeah, with, you with my yeah, curious you, marksmanship, I have yeah. all the perks. I shoot him in the face. Yeah, you see him kind of like, uh, not die, but, like, he's he's severely injured. All right, uh, then I will righteous fury. <laughs> oh wow, it actually misses. Roll to ninety-nine. Uh, Moth, oh. stop! Stop giving me your rolls. I don't want them. No, right. take them. They're yours now. <laughs> no, no, take them back. I don't want them. So who are you aiming at again? Gotcha. Yeah, you're the closest guy. Well, the closest to me, anyway. Is there a dude? Is there a guy on this building up here? 
that's a to to ignore it. It's a, okay. a turn token. I didn't want to have to add every single all fifty gotcha. to the thing. So I added one, threw them up on top of the building. So what's the modifier on the two hit roll? Hmm? What's the modifier on the two hit roll? They're they're in the open, so Plus you get we had time to aim yeah, before yeah. shooting. Alright. Plus your normal hit bonuses. No. I guess I'm just going to do a called shot to one of the orcs heads then. Yeah, I was aiming at, I guess, this guy down here. If I can see him. I think that's... Uh, just remember, if you don't have the perks, called shot uh, gives it a minus 10 to hit. Aiming also gives a bonus, though? Yeah, so it negates the bonus of aiming. So be cancelled out at, what, zero then? For the bonus? For the modifier? Yeah. Alright. Uh, if, you're, if you're half range, then you get like another plus 10. Uh, let's see how far is this. These guys oh, yeah, are actually just barely, well not just barely, but they're, they're out of range. So... I forget. If your weapon's single shot, does Righteous Fury still work? I think so, yeah. Okay, then. Yeah, it's just, um... You still have to confirm hits, though, right? Yes. No, you the guys auto, don't. You auto-confirm against uh, Xenos. Space Marines do. Space well, Marines. I, I still have to space confirm Marines. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, that's right. Alrighty, then. Uh, ignore the first one there. Apparently I hit it twice. Or ignore, ignore whichever one, the second one. Ignore one of those. So Crave managed to hit something. <clears throat> okay. Are we able to shoot into the bunkers? Uh, Are there anything in, in the bunkers? Yes, yes, there is guys with uh, gun emplacements uh, that spit us. <clears throat> and it looks to be a hardened bunker. You could take a shot at it. You'll be fighting against its uh, armor, unless you're doing a cold shot like on the gunner. Uh, sniper. <laughs> sniper. Which has a pen of 25. You are a sniper. That's what you're saying. Right, mm -hmm. dude? Yeah. And hey, we got a lot of sniper rifles now, huh? And yeah, we got three sniper guys. Well, mine's <laughs> a last cannon, but yeah. I was talking about yours. Would I use it as a sniper rifle? So I was able to uh, hit something with plus 10. And dealt 36 damage with 25 pen. Uh, what are you targeting? The uh, bunker. The Which one? Right here. I'm pinging. Okay. Uh, well, you killed a little goblin gunner. That's something. Yeah, and then... Oh no, my homie. You see him immediately get replaced. Huh. <laughs> we need a last oh, no. cannon. <laughs> uh, where do I need to go? Oh, this that's... is your surprise round, so... Yeah. Oh, yeah, we can move, can't we? How far can we move in the uh, surprise round? Only if we didn't shoot, I think. I can. Oh, yeah. I can move and shoot. It's, it's a thing I get. So I'm a jetpack down over here. Just gonna get my guy in position. You know what? I'm gonna go back actually there. Here. How do I remove my uh, paint? 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 Oh. 
Yeah, yeah, the little. Uh, oh, there the we select go. Select it. Select it and then delete. I forgot sure things are simple. I forgot things are simple. That's nice. Ah. Alright, man. This guy. By the way, what happened to the guy I shot, Poco? Hmm? Uh, which guy? Where is he? The... And, uh, that orc's dead, by the way, Yellmug. Uh... This dude, right over here. Oh, so it was enough to come on. Cool. He died. He died of. He just gave up. Kind of like killed himself. What? He killed himself. Who? What? The orc you shot killed himself. He took a. He took a pill, or something. He, he wow. See what it was. He just took, oh, ate something and then died. What, what the hell? That's not what normally happens. Normally, no, burn the planet. To shoot them in the face. Burn the planet. Okay. If they're heretics. Uh, so this orc moth? Orcs that don't want to fight aren't orcs. This is yeah, yeah, something wrong kind of... here. Something seriously wrong here. Yeah. I think it was a total of 54 to the head. 33 and 24. Yeah, he's super dead. Oh, 57. Sorry. Yeah, he's dead. I was aiming at this guy, by the way. And I'm pinging. Oh, hold on. Let me put... Let me put... Okay, and then... I'm just rolling their, uh... Hey. Do you guys all roll your initiative? Uh, nope. Okay. We should, though. Yes. I got the initiative. Initialist. Keep in mind, you have unnatural agility, too. So your agility bonus is doubled for the purposes of... This. Um, in that case, I got an 18. Okay. 18. Dude got a 19. Right, go ahead and put your. Ch go ahead and change your guys' number. Probably be quicker if you guys change. Oh, Jesus. Everything got duplicated. Oh, on your duplicated. screen? Yeah, I hate that. Doesn't let me, let me clear it first. I hate that roll twenty does that. I don't see that duplication. That's interesting client issue. Yeah, it's him only. It's weird. Yeah, it's it makes things unreadable. Okay. We gotta figure out what keeps doing that. I'm not certain. I just see you guys things come in and it duplicates everything. Go ahead, add yourselves back to the thing. Oh, okay, same roll, nice. It honestly could be that thing you guys are using. The macro? Yeah, it could be just, I don't know, forcing a add. And not it's the it. only way we have of adding ourselves to the initiative counter, though. That's true, but yeah. um, also it's uh, the 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 other ones are like dereferenced from these guys as well, so it's like they they don't, they don't the, that token doesn't exist. So I think that's probably what's going on. It, the, oh, hang on a going. second. I didn't select my token. There we go. So I think I'll just do the thing where up uh, from now on I'll just clear the board and then we'll add everything. That's probably the only way to fix this. All right. And then when you guys are done, and dude, your your squad they'll move with you as well. We'll just keep it simple, kiss method. Alrighty. Wait, this oh. is going to be eleven. There we go. I would probably want to just average out my rolls. 
Yeah, whatever you want to tackle it. I was going to say, since you're the squad leader, you'd have the initiative and commanding, so you could just roll for your guy, and then everyone else has the same initiative, so. Yeah. Just well, his that... methodology. Oh, well, yeah. That way it's one button click for you and not four. Try to make your life easier, bro. Okay. That is hilarious. <laughs> okay. I'm sure you guys see that. What? The 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 boss guy that's added on the thing. Yes. Oh. Animated ogre. Hmm. What are you doing in my swamp? Right. Well, he, yeah, he, as soon as Donkey, you guys start. Donkey, what are you doing in my swamp? Sorry. As soon as you guys start shooting, he popped out of his little base. Oh. Is that the guy with the skull and crossbones on him? No, scroll down some more. Sc skull and crossbones is a dead orc. All right. I yeah, I killed him with it. one shot. <laughs> to the bus. Done. Yep. And he went down. Yeah, yeah, the bus. Here, I'll focus ping him. Oh. You no, know, yeah. No, you agree that the bus went down in one shot. I just see an entrance to a building. That's about it. Oh? So you can't see that animated ogre guy standing there? The one on top with the X? Nope. No. The one moving around now? No. That, it might be because it's an animated model that Cobra can't see it. Maybe he needs to enable the beta mode. How do I do that? No, I have beta features turned on. Oh. Reload, I guess? Yeah, let me try reloading. Can y'all see him, or is it just... Uh... Test, I think it's just him. Let me okay. let me check. Yeah, I cannot see him. Yeah. Even with a reload. Guys. Yeah, also, dark oh. mode is working for me now. Finally. Yeah, I forgot to pay the pay the the fee on this thing. It's been so long. So I'll have to do that. So we have uh, dynamic lighting again. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. It is. When I'm trying to conceal an office gate and do certain things, that way uh, uh, what you guys can actually see then never comes into question. That's why I like it. Got it. Else it's like, no, no, I can see them. We draw a line. Yeah, I don't want to do all that. That's a headache. Dynamic lighting all the way. Especially for interiors of things, if I want to surprise you from a corner, assault, or whatever. It's kind of hard to do that when you guys can see the tokens. <coughs> I'd have to go surprise, like, uh, the analog way, I'd just drop them in, but... Uh, go ahead, Mothgo. Um, I don't see... my token. My token is not on the list. Did you not add yourself? Oh. That you're gonna die? No. Did you get hit by something? <laughs> yeah, like, it shows zero toughness on you. Oh, never mind, dark mode, it's not working still. Yeah, it's, it's just a problem with the functions of the system. So no, we'll role play. Yeah, we'll role play that the dreadnought, for whatever reason, can't see this this big ogre, for whatever huh. reason. His sensors can't pick him up. He's invisible to Kobler. So. Oh boy. He's wearing a special purple rock. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Well, Virlo uh. can't see him either. Then, if we're doing that. 
Unless one of you, like, draws... Guy, the draws we'll a point thing where he is. We'll point to where he's at for you. Alright. Or, I'll roleplay you, your, your other guy. I can't see him either for some reason. Okay, I mean, he's wearing, he's wearing a purple rock. You're right. That sounds like a good plan right there. Special purple rock that only your two guys can't see. Can't see him for whatever reason. <laughs> I love it. Oh All boy. Right. For Sora, go. I shot this guy. Which guy? The dude who's highlighted in red. Alright. Oh, uh, okay. So. Yeah, he's still standing, so. Boop. Yeah, straight to the door, though. Yeah, he looks a little pissed. And he's kind of like looking where that shot came from, too. He's like, what? Who that? And is that all you going to do? I'm going to then move over here. Okay. And then... Uh, you done? Yep. Okay, here will go. Alright. Be sure to reorder it so I can be next to Virilo. Thank I'm you. going to shoot at this guy right here. I'll do that. It'll go Virlo then then him. Something I already called. Okay. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. So I believe that's just gonna be a flat roll. Yep, flat roll. They're in the open. Yeah. Well, swing and a miss from Virlo. Okay, is that all you're gonna do? Uh, I mean, I think that's all I can do. You can move, I think. I'm fine where I'm at. Okay, that uh, dude go. All right, so Craven is going to reload, and that's going to take a take two turns. Then, so I'm... you have rapid reload, or Space Marines, I believe. Have Let's rapid see. reload as a basic. Well, I don't see it as a unless that's a tactical thing. If oh wait, no. tactical set. Did he just fire? Is that what he fired in the surprise round? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna take two two turns to reload that. Because it's just a big honk and two. sniper rifle, like then fifty cal equivalent to the Space Marine, wherever that is. <laughs> I use for. Uh, T diet gear. I use the last cannon against the closest bunker. Are you targeting the we weapon specifically? The the, the operator? Uh, at the building? To see if... Oh, just to try to bring the building down? Yeah, I'm trying to see what you're trying to target. So, you guys already saw that there was the sprayers in there. That there's the gunner. The surprise round, mm -hmm. you killed the gunner on the sprayer. But it's mainly got uh, manned back up, so... Me immediately, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, you, I just want to... Go ahead. I just want to destroy the building itself, if possible. Uh, do an intelligence check, plus 50. Let's see... Or anything to do with tactical? Anything to help you with that? Okay, well, your guy can, can deduce that sprayer. If you can hit its source, it'll go kaboom like those big mechs. Do I see the source? Do an awareness check, minus 60. It'll be kind of hard to see in the bunker because they kind of reinforce these. You see the spray, uh, you just don't see the tank. Also, that was a crit success for the intelligence. Just want to throw that out there. Yeah, that's why he, that's why he deduced what he deduced. So there's the tank he has to hit. He, he does not see it. You can spend a fate point, try to reroll that, see if you can see to target it. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh! Okay, anyone else wants to Do you get a plus 10 and all that stuff to your thing? Uh. Yeah, I had a plus 10 to your roll, right? Yeah, I did. I did. Okay. Anyone else want to give a fate point? I only Sorry, have one more fate point for this session. I'm trying to find the spray tank inside the bunkers. If I manage to hit that. The bunker ah, goes kaboom. Uh, yeah, take one of mine. Um, down to two, by the way. 
Okay. It'll still be minus 50, correct? Uh, plus the plus 10. Oh, yeah, that is minus, minus 50. Four. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because it's minus 60. Dang. Yeah, it's just too hard to spot. You see the gun. Well, I'll fire. I'll fire the uh, sprayer. Yeah, fire at the sprayer. At least disable the sprayer. Oh, and hopefully it causes a chain reaction since it's a last cana. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. What the heck? Uh, yeah, I'll let you know. Go ahead, fire. Uh, minus. It's gonna be a minus minus fifty to hit the sprayer. Give me a second. My web, the website just broke for me. Oh, okay. Well, tell it to unbreak. That's what I'm telling it to do. I'm turning it off and on again. Minus 50? Well, that could be why you're just teasing it. <laughs> Boko? Yeah, minus 50. Hmm. So it impacts the side of the bunker. Did it damage the bunker at all? It took a chunk out of the whatever material they're using. It looks like concrete. It looks like just a hodgepodge of hardened scrap and whatever. So uh, as far as you could tell, it made a hole. You don't know if it did any damage, real damage. Voodoo. And then, Yorkie, are we able to do any type of Overwatch saying if anyone crosses? I think that's part of the game system, yes. I think yes. you can do that. All right. I'm going to do that with Rorkri. Just yes. aim around this area right here. If anyone crosses, enters that area, he will then fire. Right. And those rocks you, you guys are behind are about head height. The ones you're behind, so you'll have full coverage. So you guys poked around, blam, shot. Mm -hmm. And these other ones, they're uh, a little bit smaller, so they're immediately in front of you. So just know you're aware. And that's it. All right. Now, in fact, I'll mark the with green any one of that's uh, head height. Okay, thunk, go. Pew pew, I shoot at this guy. <laughs> Which guy? Ping him again. Oh, that man? Okay, do your damage. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear a hit. I, I got it, I got you. Here we go. Yeah, he immediately vaporizes. Okay, cool. I, I think do also have tearing on this weapon, so I can re-roll the lowest value. Yeah, so I'm sure you figure out what their HP is. Is it 50? Yes. <laughs> well, it's between 46 and 50, so... Okay. Anything else? No. Okay, it was yeah. aim shoot. Compute. There go, and I want to make them do an awareness check. Because they know you guys are there. They just haven't pinpointed where there. So you guys are on full coverage. Do. I mean, any of us shooting the last cannons, they probably know where we are. Oh, no, yeah, a yeah. Giant red laser that comes out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about the other guys. Uh, who fired last cannons? It was a uh, dude. And me. And yeah. you. So they, don't, they do not see anyone else except for those two. So they, they the bunker, let's see. A bunker is going to fire in general direction. Second. Just remember, we have full cover. Yep. So that's what minus thirty. It would be and... funny if that was a crick and destroys the bunker entirely. Yeah. So. Yeah, the bunker that fires at you, you just see a giant line of green crap 
in this direction. They're just spraying down that rock. Just protected you. And it's quickly dissolving that rock. And then... Thunk, where are you at? Where's your character at? I'm hiding. They're shooting silly string. Yeah. Also really. directly behind him. Oh, are you? Oh, I see you. Uh, let's yeah, you put see. me... Oh, uh, no. You gave me a Space Marine token. For whatever reason. I, oh, yeah, 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 I forgot. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Oh, yeah, you're definitely within range. So they're going to fire at you as well. They think they're going to fire at me. And and this one, let's see, what is that, an 89? Uh, yeah, it, you just see it, it exploding green goo, the whole base. Something I'm, happened. I'm glad my luck with people shooting at me specifically is continuing <laughs> with all my characters. <laughs> yeah, Wait, you just... the entire base or one tower? Or a bunker. One, one little tower exploded. Oh, man. Nice. That's what I wanted to do. Yeah. Boop. Plow. Okay. Good. Thumb strategy working. Uh, Let them so kill the next, themselves. Yeah, the next tower is going to now fire at Thunk. They it's can going try. to try. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, you can do a dodge. It's a... Now I'm gonna use a fate point and have them reroll it. <laughs> 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 All right. So What's, they're going to take a, mi they're taking a, a minus, minus 40. 10 penalty. Yeah, they're taking a minus 40 this time. <laughs> so they just miss. They don't... Nothing drastic happens. Okay. Uh, so they're, you're just going to see a giant green plume hit that rock, and it, too, is dissolving it. Which rock? I'm drawing a line to it now. Okay, and then another tower is going to be firing at you, dude, from the from another angle. And nice. Yeah, for whatever reason, they decide to shoot it off in this direction. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. Measure. I think I think this is the yeah the other towers are obscured from hitting you. Yeah. I think, yeah, you guys are fine on that. So the towers can't not hit you. And they're also facing a different direction, too. Okay, so he's going to move here, there. Okay. The other guys are going to this one. And that's our turn. Alright, Chief already moved. Dreadnought, go. Okay, so. My question is. Um, I have a flamethrower. Does fire react with this green acidic goo in any way? As far as you know, no. You haven't tried it before. Are you hoping it's like that other material? I'm hoping that it's flammable, and by shooting a stream, uh, it will ignite the entire stream and then blow up the tank where I they're mean, shooting it from. I shot it with Melta pistols. And nothing happened? Yeah. It exploded. Okay. Well, I mean, you the whole the tank, tank blew up. Yeah. Yep, the acid tank exploded, and it went everywhere. Well, let's see. Uh, first thing I have you. to do is move. So I can go 36 meters. And let's see. I mean, to be honest, I'm probably just going to uh, shoot with my long-range weapon.
So, let's see here. Yeah, like, I have a heavy flamer. But it's only 30 meters range, so I'd have to be really close. Um, I'm just going to target uh, this tower right here with okay. my culverin. And if I can freaking drive at the line bunker itself there. or in the slot, just at the bunker itself. Okay, what is it? Is it a rocket? What is it? It's like a it's like a beam weapon. It's kind of like a melta. It's a oh, it's okay. a volkite weapon. Okay. So my range on that is a hundred meters. So this is out of range, meaning I'm gonna take what a minus. 10 penalty? For every 10 meters, something like that. Minus 10 penalty for every 10 meters is going to be a minus 40. Um, the and tower the itself, how big is that? Big enough that you're going to get a plus 50 to hit it. Okay. If so, you're just targeting the general bunker. Yes. But if you're going to fire like a spray gun, it's more. you have to be more accurate. Alright, well here we go. Alright, it hits. And there's the damage. Now, it does have 10 oh. penetration. You mar the outside of the bunker. Bunker still stands from your observation. But bunker's on fire. All right. Cool. Um, and I think that's it for my turn. Okay. Over you, go. Moth. Oh, man, the orcs haven't shot at us. The, uh, the other orcs you see, they don't have guns. They have nets, and they're coming at you guys. Oh. And axes. Nets and axes is all you <laughs> see uh, on the ground orcs themselves. And some have clubs. Savages. Right, and you see the only ranged weapon they Savages. had is don't that orc. Yeah, the only thing you Sandvich. see... You do see orcs uh, messing with the artillery. Oh, well, I'm shooting those guys then. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's it's specifically the these group of four. <laughs> I guess I'll shoot the. Furthest guy over here. Minus 50. Oh. Because you're firing past that artillery piece you see there. You can see him. Then I guess I'll fire one of the dudes in front. I'm not going to hit if I shoot behind it. Okay, do damage. Ow! <laughs> Here's what you kind of hear in the distance. Anything else? Uh, nope. Okay, uh, Virlo, go. One moment. I imagine dynamic lighting is turned off since it's uh, not on currently, right? I, I, we, it's been a while. I didn't pay the bill for five bucks. I'll have to do that next time. Yeah, I keep seeing a lot of things mentioning dynamic lighting being legacy and current now, or like advanced or something. I don't know if either one of them is a paid feature or if one of them is a gone dynamic to free mode. Di dynamic is paid. Feature. All right. But in this instance, is an open field. You can see almost everything, so it doesn't really... No, I'm, I'm trying to troubleshoot the animated token problem. I, I think it's because Cobra's, Cobra's using the opera. That's well, probably kidding. the problem. That's, yeah. Animations! 
You monster! How dare you want to use animations? Oh, be right back. Alright, sorry about that. It's being interrupted. Um... Rick Teal, go. Yeah, Rick Teal's turn. Okay. So... Rookie is going to try and shoot... Okay, which tower did uh, Neil Tyson shoot at? Was it this... This one right here? Yeah, in fact, I'll just... I'll uh, create a marker that... Because one of them is on fire. All right. There you go. Got it. On, on fire. So, Rookie is going to try and shoot the tank inside here using the uh, using the sniper rifle. Hey. Minus. Or the stalker bolt gun. Are you, are you, as it were. Shoot, are you shooting the gunner or are you looking for a tank like the... the no, I'm, I'm looking for a tank. Because I'm assuming dude relayed that information when he spotted it. Minus 60 yes. for it. Yep. Alright. Minus 60 to appear to it. Because it is obscured in the bunker and they're sealing it, obviously, to not get shot, so. Alright. Minus 60. Yep. You know, nope. with... take a shot at, at the sprayer. Minus 40 to shoot the sprayer. Alright. I am back. You missed me oh. missing. Well, if you want to stop missing the uh, invisible orc guy, you should probably switch to Chrome or Firefox. Ha. Uh. Oh wait, you're being serious. Yeah, that's yeah. the only that's your problem. Well, I'm on a Chromium browser. Uh, 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 There's your problem. Different browser? VVD link? Yeah. Or whatever? Roll, Roll20 is set up to be used with Chrome and Firefox, and they troubleshoot that, and they kind of ignore and not it. They don't even, else. even if it's Chromium-based, you still need to use Chrome in order to use the website. I've already tried different browsers, and they don't work well. Well, I ain't fucking doing that. So, I guess it'll just have to be invisible for me. Yep. Alright. Alright, that's my turn. Minus oh, you already missed? Yep. Okay, yeah, you impacted the bunker. Dude, go! Okay. By the way, that's that green stuff is persistent, so... Oh, fun. Yeah, so anytime they shoot, that creates that... You're gonna have to walk through that, or find a way around it. It's silly string. Yeah, it's yeah, acidic world's, silly string. World's deadliest silly string. I'll try to do it again on another tower. Yeah, minus 60. Wait a second. I think I forgot to apply my base buffs. Oh. That might help you. Yeah, whatever buffs you have, use them. Let me re lo look at this stuff. Okay, so I have plus 20. Uh, that was still would have missed last round. So minus okay. 40. Dang. Yep, yeah, it's just well hidden. Are you attacking? You're not going to try to find the tank? Observe the tank? Well, to, oh, I know where the sprayer is. I'm trying to hit the sprayer. Oh, right? yeah, that's a minus 40, not a minus 60. But you still probably would have missed. Then yeah, that'll be it. minus twenty total. That'll be one point six. Still yeah, a miss. Yeah, still, yep, still a miss. Uh, you can do anything else. That well, I have three other characters to look at. 
Yeah, I was going to say, that rock you're behind is melting, by the way. It's starting to become less chest high. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. The sniper should be ready to go. It's been one round. Hey. Um, I'm going to try to do the same thing with the sniper. Try to find the storage tank. Minus 60. Hmm. You can share your buffs to him. So if you have buffs, go for it. Okay. Not a and Rocky will Rocky and Jericho are gonna stay Overwatch as well, and that'll be it for now. Okay, so they're not doing anything. They're gonna hold hold fast. They're they're Overwatching. Uh, thunk go. All right, I am going to. Uh, where am I? Uh, well, I'll take a shot at this guy. Okay. He's, he's in the open. You have a clear shot, so. Penalties. I hit. Okay, do your damage. And he is vaporized. Uh, right. Anything else? That's my turn. Okay. Okay. Boop. Block. Do, do, do. All right, and then uh, one of one of them is finally in range. Okay, do your thing. Uh, okay, uh, let's see what's this guy, Rocky. Uh, any modifiers against this orc right here? They're in the open, so with any range penalties you'd incur, so it'd be a plat zero. Okay. Or plus I'd... twenty if they're at half range. Uh that'll be seven shots then. Okay. So you could probably hit multiple people. Okay. So the first dude is is gonna be down. So let's see. How much damage do you do total? <laughs> and what's the maximum range of that gun? One hundred. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna say all three of these guys in front are dead. That are within range, dead, dead, and dead. That's more than enough. Damage. 56 damage. How much? 256. Yeah, all three all all three guys within range are dead. So uh, and that's enough to kill. I think two more. Yeah, I'll just I'll just kill. I don't want to say they got caught by fair rounds. Boop, boop. There you go. The ricochet from the tower. Yeah. <laughs> it was enough to kill all of uh, all those guys. Okay, so they now know you're there. 
who was that rookie that fired? Rocky. Rocky. It's this guy right here. Okay, so the spray out is going to fire at him now. And he, I'm assuming he popped because it's not, you have, that's a chest high wall. So I'm assuming he's laying low, popped up. Bop, 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 bop. Mm -hmm. So. Waiting for movement, really. Yeah. Uh, so you're going to, he's going to, oh God. Uh, <laughs> so this tower, you see it like sort of spray and then explode. So he's fine. Uh, I got another one coming for you. Dude. It lands. So you got to make a, let's see, blah, blah, blah. Must Which make character? an agility test or suffer an additional 10, 10 D, 1d10 damage with penetration of 2 due to Lenny's line, corrosive effect. Which no. character? Uh, do your uh, Domingus. And okay. yeah, because you're about to be taking that much damage plus an additional one d10 if you fail the agility check. But if you dodge, you won't have to take that check. Test. Uh, modifier for the dodge. Um, mm -hmm. uh, plus twenty. By the way, thanks for rolling that. Agility check. It's not Domingo Castiar. It's Diet Gear casts a rare. Mine, yeah, you take a minus. It's the ten. same portrait. <laughs> it's very confusing, dude. I agility hope you realize. Two. Yeah, agility ch test, I believe. Oh, that dodge. The this is the additional. This is the the special that this weapon has. Let me just share it with you. So, boop boop. Okay, yeah, you dodge it. That's a crit would... success. Good, so you're not taking the additional damage. So you just got hit you just got hit with the damage the, just the base damage, thirty five. So you're not taking the corrosive damage. Well that's a little BS. That's that's just to avoid this. Yeah. Well, can I dodge? You they already spray it, you... so? You already didn't you did you fail the first dodge or did you? Did I did you... I did a roll. Oh. I did the fate. Okay. Yeah, you're fine then. Yeah, you. Yeah, you're fine. Sorry. Whew, because that would have killed me. Thirty-five <laughs> with twenty-ten. Yeah. Oh, okay. I only have uh, like that. That goes straight through my armor. I only have twenty-one wounds. All right, Thunk, you're up next. <laughs> Thunk, ready? They can try. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Oh, no. This one, this one explodes, too. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> My ever persuasive psychic barrier of detonating weapons that shoot at me is still yeah. going strong. Wait a second. These guys moved right here? Yeah, they moved up. All right. Jericho will fire at them. Okay. I think they're... Yeah, they're in range. Thunk, truly you are blessed by the Emperor. Uh, Emperor always with Thunk. <laughs> Emperor, Thunk Wingman. Hey. Oh my. <laughs> Emperor Thunk Wingman, oh, so 90, I love it. 93. Let's see, hold up. What's the range on that weapon? Uh, Jericho. 100. Yeah, that's oh, Jericho. Just, just 100? Okay, yeah, you just hit the dirt. Boop. He hit this rock, in fact. Because he saw it was the orc. You got excited you're going to hit this guy. He hit that. <laughs> All right. Uh, Chief already went. Neil Tyson, go. All right. So uh, I'm going to continue moving towards the action here. So towards I can move. The yeah, you with your damn things do nothing but just him existing like boom tower's gone yeah like both 90 98 89 like oh god so if this tower is on fire is is it like starcraft where it's going to eventually burn down or do we not know that you have no clue you just know your laser like melted some of the metal some of the, some of the concrete looks like they had and the building top is on fire 
but it looks like they're still operating. Right. They just they just fired a blast at your comrade there. So they're, I'm gonna they're like yeah, they're just continuously spraying downward dudes at. I'm so. going to go ahead and take another shot at the same tower again. Okay. Are you gonna uh, do a targeted shot or are you just gonna blast at it? I'm just gonna shoot the tower again. Okay. So it's what plus fifty to hit? And then it'll be minus 10 because it's slightly out of my range. Uh, oh, I'm looking at the wrong character sheet. Hang Wait, on. range of what? His little laser my culverin has 100 meters of range. And the tower is that is... at extreme range or? So, I'm shooting beyond. The weapon's range, meaning I get a penalty. I'm pretty sure right. that's how that works. Yeah. Yes. So, so because this Sorry, is... Sorry, it's been a while since I had to think about that. Yeah. So do your thing. Don't Mark's my perk, best perk. It's what, plus 40 then, Boko? Yeah. Yep, yep, go, go, go. Okay, it hits. Get it. Get your damage. Okay. All right. The fire got slightly bigger. You're like <laughs> marring up the the bunker. It appears that I'm dealing damage, and that is my turn. Okay, Prasora, go. Prasora. Yeah, I'm just looking. He's, uh, that's within sight range, right? No. Yeah. Is it? You see what my problem is, though, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna say you can see him. He's pretty big. You can could, you could see him. Alrighty. I don't know if I should shoot at him or the guys arming the artillery. Well, you glancing at the artillery, you could see they already loaded something into it. Is the tank full? The if it's loaded, I would imagine it would I'm gonna be... I'm going to shoot the tank on the artillery. <laughs> you see the tank on, on, on the thing full. All right. Uh, minus minus uh, 40 on this one. Isn't it a bigger target? It is. It's oh, like, boy. It's also long distance. Long distance. And uh, it's, it's not it's out of my distance, even it's, slightly. Sure, but it's also obscured a little bit, so there's a lot of factors because gotcha. like, piles in the way, so it's just an obscure shot. It's not that it's, you can't see it, it's just obscured. And the artillery, the cradle that's holding it, is kind of like protecting it a little bit, so go for it. It will be insta insta pop if you hit it. That's a hit. You just see this artillery piece just go up and just. Let me get the little... Okay, all the artillery's gone. All f so. all five of them? Yeah, that one spray, because it's a 30 Holy meter shit. radius explosion. Ooh. Nice. Yeah, they're going to lob this over. You just saved uh, everyone up north's life. <laughs> yeah, they're all, they are all they all got caught. Yeah, then they chained, exploded, and hit each other, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, chain explosion? I didn't think about that. Yeah. So, let's see. So, yeah. these these orcs over here are dead. Yeah, those guys are dead. Everyone in McKinney is dead. <laughs> so, this is what, kind of what you see. And then, same thing with this one. Yeah, it's just a giant acid pool <laughs> of where those yeah. artillery were. So, good job. You knocked the artillery out. Nice. Okay. Uh, is that your turn, Rosora? Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, Vierlo, go. All right. Um, let's see here. What can I do? I think I'm going to try and get a little bit closer to... Uh, one of these towers down here. Uh, let's see where my movement speed is. And it's doubled because of Moss thing. Yeah. You guys can stay engaged or you guys can disengage since you guys complete your 
little objective there, so it's up to you. Objective is kill all orcs. <laughs> I think it was to kill the the leader of the orcs. The objective is to call, kill all orcs. Well, if we leave one orc alive, he becomes the new leader. Thus, we have to kill all orcs. <laughs> orcs must die. All right. Orcs must die three. Ah, uh, two is better. Having okay. played both. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to move here, and then um, I'm also going to see if I can shoot into this tower and try and hit the tank. Minus 60. All right. Here we go. And... And whatever you have, you can apply, so... Minus 60. Holy shit. Oh, wait, no. That's that should not be that's... minus... I was about to say, something wrong here. <laughs> it's not an attack, you're doing an awareness, see if you can see it first. Oh, okay. Well, let me you do, do that. It. Right, so you gotta see it first, and then you can attack it. Minus 60 on awareness? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't do a minus in front of that. Okay, well, I don't see it. You don't even see it. So you see the spraya. Well, I will try and shoot at the spraya then. Minus 40. All right. By the uh, way, as well, guys, we even though the sprayers are the primary thing hitting you, you do see the machine guns fire. Uh, yeah, I missed. But it's like very ineffective fire, so I don't even bother with it. Yeah, so the machine gun fire that they're doing is very ineffective, so it it's not even worth noting unless you get closer. Got it. But yeah, you see guys right. tracers going around on peep 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 peep. That's my turn. Dude, go. Okay. Just give me a minute here. I'm going to make a run. Yeah, I'm going to mark the chest high ones Over with here. the red color. So those, are the, those are the chest high ones. Or not chest high, uh, head high box. The other ones are chest high. And I uh, can't remember if Craven is, should be fully loaded at this point. He just fired. Oh, Craven was the sniper? Yeah. Okay, that. Okay, so Jericho just had a bolter. Yeah. He should be yeah. fully loaded. Yeah, Jericho's fully loaded. All right. Because it's been definitely two rounds. He last fired. Uh, I think then. next time just put a little uh, on the red circle just put like two on next time he fires I think you're going to fire this turn right? Mm -hmm. yeah there you go so, just reduce that every round yeah just have a counter uh, that's more than half range half range is like plus 10 right? yeah yeah yeah, yeah. or plus 20 half range Okay, I'm just firing at one of the orcs. Okay. Hit. Okay. He's uh, vaporized. Mm, not quite. He's he's severely injured. Oh really? Yeah, they have 50 HP. Even though fully penetrated. Fully penetrated. 35. Yeah, he has 50 HP. So. They might not have that much armor and toughness to reduce. Uh, okay. So even your your damage wasn't enough. After your, your your raw damage was not enough. Yeah. Gotcha. Then with Jericho, they're not wearing any armor. As far as you can tell, they're shirtless. <laughs> with Jericho, they're gonna fire. That's about the similar range. Uh, let's see here. Let me check on something. There we go. And that shot was t towards this group. Yep. So you okay, first guys, you have righteous fury, so you can do it again. Yeah, he's dead. First guys, first guys dropped. They're just tough mm -hmm. son of bitches, is what they are. So. Yeah. The roar key, similar thing. 
Gonna do that. Okay. Oh, only one hits, unfortunately. You hear him say, ow! <laughs> <laughs> and then... I did it wrong, so... That is that. Thunk, go. Thunk's gonna shoot this guy. Okay. Then yeah, Thunk will have to reload. Behind cover, or...? No, the guy to the right. Okay. Hey, do you damage? All right, you can get rid of he's, him. He's dead. <laughs> he only had 12 HP. He's like, boom! All right. That was Thunk's turn. Okay, uh, their turn. So the tower is going to fire at... So all three have already fired at this guy, right? At, at the tower. No, so they know your guys' position. So he's going to fire at Rocky this time. The tower. So... He's behind Rookie? Cover. Yeah, he's gonna the tower's gonna fire Rookie. He didn't fire he didn't shoot at the tower. He fired in general. Okay. So they're aware of everyone's position. So he misses. So it's boop. Boop. And he's just gonna shoot he fired off. Boop. And Rookie, so you you fired at somebody in that cover? Rookie. Yeah. Uh, I had I had fired at uh, this right here, this tower. Okay. It is now going to fire back at you. All right. It's gonna try. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's going to instead splatter these guys. <laughs> so they're all dead. <laughs> uh, that's crazy. Well, they're, they're not all dead, but they're very hurt. So, or, well, one's dead. Uh, they're all melting now. Yeah. yeah well, they might as well be dead. Yeah, they all have uh, 12 HP. So. Okay. And I'll, I'll do the additional one one damage on them. So roll 1d10. So they take an extra point of damage. They all have 11 HP then. Alright. And the zero armor they had is also gone, so... I like to think that the uh, orc in the tower there misidentified the orcs as space marines and shot at them. <laughs> Oi there! Get them! <laughs> it's, actually, it's uh, Gretchen's or little goblin uh, equivalents, wherever they are. Oh yeah, Gretchen's. Yep. Yeah, so... Okay, so the tanks uh, tanks are now moving... Oh. I like to imagine that he actually thought he shot at the space marines, but the gun was just pointed in the wrong direction, but the sight was pointed at the correct direction. <laughs> so these tanks are moving up. And let's see. I'm going to do the where to check on these things to see if they see you first. Cause... So, do a flat roll. First one does not see you guys. And the second one does not see you guys. Damn. Yeah. They must be buttoned just... up. Yeah, they just they're just focused on Ooh, get to front. Arrgh. So, uh dude, just so you're aware you do see two modified Lim Rust tanks coming at you guys in your general direction. Is that it? Yeah, those are it. So they well, they're, gonna they... throw... they're gonna go through the goop. Yeah. Or they do it. Call... they do kinda of look like giant wagons. What you're noticing look like giant wagons, like they try to stealthify it. Air quotes. 
Ah. Tacked on wood. So what's 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 the rust tank? What the uh? Lim rust tank it looks like a World War Two tank almost. So they, uh, uh, well, what's what's their capabilities? Is my question. Oh, they have a giant fuck off cannon, machine guns. Um, so. Stay, so stay the hell away from it. Imagine this is what you're saying. Imagine a turreted tank. Like yeah, that's, that's all. What a Lehman Rust tank is. Yeah, it's just a turret. Is it is it bulky? Like, Hang is it on. easy to penetrate? I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, share with him what it is. So you can just kind of just because it looks like a cartoonish version of like what a tank is. Um, yeah. Let's describe it. Uh, okay, so this guy's this way. And all right, he's gonna throw this net at in you. Death Watch. Ed, he gets himself. He gets himself with the net. In fact, he stumbles and he gets himself with his own net, and he's caught in it. And he's, getting, he's just stuck in that net now. He's yeah, he's not getting out of that net. That's a Lehman Russ, dude. It also has a bulldozer on. it. Interesting. Yeah, these 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 are made of wood. No. Or it looks like they're made of wood. No, they look like a giant wagon modified. Uh -huh. You see the Lehman Rust so they're face. Flat off. You s <laughs> sure. Borderlands reference. I got that. Yeah. So, but yeah, they're modified. Orcs modified them. They put like a wood uh, frame around them. You On the outside, but you see the you see the Lehman Rust base. Also, I'm going to be that one guy and point out that uh, not all Vladoff guns have wood furnishing. Yeah, most no, it's of just them a do. joke for the early games. Yeah. It's mostly a Borderlands 1 thing. Most of them had wood. Yeah. And that's their turn. Uh, Neil Tyson, go. All right. So, uh... By the way, Cobbler, in case you're wondering, yeah. that's right here where I'm swinging. That's where the animated ogre's at. Oh, okay. Here, I'll just, I'll put another token down so you can see it. Because he's getting awfully close to Virlo. Got it. I did not realize. So, I'm going to move to about here. Yeah, I can see that. The uh, static token, not the animated one. Uh... Yeah, that's funny that, that that net guy was about to get you, but he got himself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he has one HP. He tripped oh. over his own net. He tripped over his own net. Now he's 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 literally a non-threat. All right, I'm going to shoot at the giant orc thing with uh, the a uh, culver and shot. Yeah, it's a, it is a giant hulking uh, orc. You see him have just a tree in his hand, basically. So, I'm guessing that I'm going to have a modifier because he's so big. Yeah, plus twenty. Plus 20? Alright. I hit. And time to roll damage. There we go. Hey, he looks annoyed. 81, pen 10. Yep, he just looks annoyed. Damn. He, he shrugs it off. He kind of looks at you like you see him like crack his neck. Uh-oh. Yeah, and that's uh, Neil Dunn. Versora, go. Right.
All right, I should be able to do that easily. I jetpack all words. the way over here, shoot the big guy, and then jetpack back up after I'm done with that. <laughs> okay. Oh, by the way, I should mention the uh, Volkite Culverin has. Uh, Uh, it has some things like deflagrate and devastating too. Okay, what does it do? I actually don't know what either of those do, but I have them yeah. marked here. Yeah, let, let me know what they do. Yeah, I'm gonna figure that out now. If it does anything, if it does anything to the character, I, I gotta know about it so I can modify them. Else, someone's gonna get hit with a big stick. Okay, do you do damage month? Yeah, I'm just trying to remember. Uh, should just be two, right? Or is it multiple? No, for this one, it's just two. And the other one is plus one for every degree success up to four total. Yep, there you go. So how much damage is that total? Hold on, I'll just minus the, hold on, minus nine. Minus 19. Minus 13. Yeah, he looks also slightly... Also the 20, and the 39, and the 37. 20, okay. Oh, 37? And 39. Minus 39. Oh, and one of them was a Righteous Fury, wasn't it? Yep. And you're flying away as soon as you do this? Okay. Minus another 37. So he is pissed off. He looks in that general direction and he sees... And then I'm zip back over here. Just yeah, he sees, he sees Rookie. Immediately he just sees Rookie. Okay, Rookie, go. All right. Run, Forrest. Yeah, Run. that's exactly what I'm going to do. You read my mind. Uh... Because I gotta reload now. So I can go up here. So I'm gonna run away and then um, I'm actually going to take a shot at him with my uh, Stalker bolt gun loaded with vengeance rounds, which how fast, is how fast is your character sprint? Well, he's sprinting double, doubly quick because uh, of uh, Moth's thing right now. Okay, but let's say that's like that's a pretty far distance. Like Jesus. Actually, I may not be able to shoot and uh, run in the same turn. Yeah, I don't think I, don't... I can. Nope. Nope. Never mind. So I'm not going to be shooting. So I was looking at like, whoa, I was like whoa, that's like super duper far. Yeah, for my some guy. reason, my run is 78. But I think okay. that's because of the... Uh, Moss thing? Jolie bonus, yep. Yeah, I was just... Just asking. Like, yep. Like, it's like you're faster than some vehicle. Alright, uh... Is that it for your turn? Okay. Yeah. Dude, go. Alright. Is this? How far is that? Yeah, except with wood on it. But yeah, <laughs> it's not like that coming your way. I'm gonna move closer to cover, and uh, and then fire a laser cannon to want to the closest uh, wooden tank. A laser cannon, huh? 
It had to be feeding the orcs potato chips. Huh? <sighs> Say that again, Moth? I don't think you should be feeding the orcs potato chips right now. What, laser cannon? Yeah. Ha. Uh, ha. Uh, Sorry, shit joke. It's a laser cannon. Same difference. <laughs> So less gives like plus twenty, and then that's like uh, what was how was the distance? Plus twenty. Oh, it's two ten. So that's thirty, and it's big. So plus twenty there too. Yeah. Okay, that's plus fifty. What's the damage output on the thing? 32. Yeah, it just... Yeah, it just... Uh, you see it kind of destroy the wood. The wood's gone. And you see it bounce off the armor. Oh. Uh, so I need bigger penetration then. Let's see here. Something with more penetration than a laser cannon. Is what you're Laz saying. Laz cannon. Laz. There you go. Oh, I don't really have anything to fight against the tank. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> And there's two of them. Convoy, so heading your way. It's a measure, dang it. Let's see, what is this, Roki? Oh. There we go. Just making a run, just running away, getting to better cover. Just don't go near that thing. Hmm. And then let's see. Now Craven has one more turn to reload. All right, that's it. All right, so... Volkite weapons deflagrate organic matter, explosively burning flesh into ash and jetting fire. Direct hit by Volkite weapon could cause target to simply combust, often taking nearby comrades with them. Okay, but what does that do mechanically? I was going to say, so no mechanical rules. Well, I just looked this up because... Ah, see, now you need to look up the rules for Death Watch, then. Yeah. Uh... Actually, shouldn't that be in the uh, resources page? for the I have no idea where he got a Volkite weapon for Death Watch. It's going to be some special... special nonsense. <laughs> yeah, probably... Uh, so is there, is all your guys moved there, dude? Yeah, I am my turn. Thunk, go. So you ready for I'm going to. Sh oh no, I gotta reload. I spent my turn reloading. Okay. Uh, tanks are tanks are going now, so tanks are moving up. And actually, hold up. Let's see. We did oh. Okay, so Kobler. Your your yeah. weapon. I don't think it is the way you described it. 
It's a fire beam. I thought it was just a big fuck-off laser. No, it is literally a thermal ray weapon. Yep. All right. Pre-Age of Imperium. Pre-Age uh, of Technology or Strife. That's yeah. why I set that building of blaze. <laughs> Got it. Uh, yeah, just, just so you know, it's not some giant cannon that emulates things. It, you're firing a beam. Yeah. All right, so... Well, I know it's a beam. I just so, didn't know that it was a fire beam. Yeah, it's a fire beam. So yeah. th thermal ray. Yeah, yeah so it's tank, kind of like a melt on then. Yeah, that tank fired in your general direction. You get a dodge. At least what the melters are based off of. Who are you referring to, Boko? Dude, this guy. The nearest guy to the tank that, that you know, gotcha. fired at the thing. So. Dodge. Gonna dodge any modifiers? Uh... Well, it's kind of a big blast radius, so I'm going to say minus 30. Is that their default base? Hmm? Never mind. Fatty pointing the... Have you guys found uh, deflagrate in the rule book? Uh, Someone give him a pay point. Shucks. He's about to get eviscerated by. Uh, <laughs> let's see how much damage it does to you. Oh boy. I'm de <laughs> Can yeah, I get that's... a pay point, please? Sure, you can take one of mine. What is going on? You get. Uh, Would you like another one of mine? Your character. Yes, you can spend a fate point to not. Uh, Die, die, but just you will be out of action. I've given you one to, to re roll again. Mm -hmm. One more time, then. Don't forget the plus 10. I, it's, this is already plus 10. Oh, okay. Hey, oh. You know. <laughs> yeah, so your character, he's going to have to jump out of cover, and then that rock in front of you is it just destroyed. Blammo! Uh, so I'm gonna put the timer on the the reload timer on this guy tank. There okay. we go. So the next tank. Uh, let's see. Here. Okay, I'm seeing deflag rate, but it's for, I think the model tabletop system. Wow. In that one. Every time you don't save from a wound, it does extra hits. So I guess just... I have no idea how you would convert that. I, well, I, I says, I guess where's the source where you success? got the weapon? Yeah. I'm was pretty it sure it was... an AI-generated one? No, it wasn't AI-generated. I'm pretty sure it was in the core rulebook somewhere. It's not in the core rulebook. Probably AI-generated. Um weapon. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so the other tank does not see you, dude. So you're very lucky. That's an understatement. Yeah. It would, it would, both of them are, you know, communicating between one another, and they're trying to seek and destroy the, you know, the big blue boy, or whatever color you are. Mm -hmm. Big space boy. Uh, so the tower. Let's see who else is in. Oh, shit. All right. Uh, all right. Which one I have to power? Oh, I know what I do. Okay, the tower is going to shoot at you, dude. I'm going to say you're prone, so you're going to get a minus. You're going to get a bonus so they don't hit you. Yeah. Or which direction did you jump in? Let's let's go with that. Before I, which direction are you jump in? Let's let's be fair here. So I'm assuming you're gonna jump Behind. this way. Okay, cool. Trying to get to jump into another cover, really. Got it. That thing's destroyed. So it would have. It would still hit. Or no, would it? Yeah, almost twenty. So this misses. Okay. Yeah, it was just just another. Sp is that another spray? So it's just like right there. Yeah, it's literally right where you were. 
so. Because it was, it's firing at where you're at now. So, uh, minus 20 because of the cover, that mm -hmm. that would mean it failed its attack. Uh, let's see. Let's see. This guy's going to move up. Same with these guys. They're moving up. The net dude, he dies. Uh, this guy's moving up. You guys are coming out. Uh, he's moving up the tank. And that's their turn. Uh, Tyson, go. Alright, let's see. I hope you don't kill before he gets to hit somebody with a stick. So is this giant thing, this orc thing, going to try and fight me in, in my yeah. melee range? Uh, I don't think you quite are. I think because otherwise I would have took a swung at you. All so right. You're about 26 meters away, so you could try to get melee range with him. I'm actually going to um, try and move this way and then take a shot at uh, one of these tanks. Because I think my time is going to be better spent killing the tanks with the anti-armor weapon rather than shooting at this giant right. orc in front of me. So, uh, alright, what's the uh, two-hit modifier? Uh, see. I'm 30 meters out of range, so it's already going to be a minus 30. Yeah, minus 30 then. Because it's a big target. It plus plus 20 since it's a large target, so minus 10. Minus 10. All right, there we go. Okay. And there's the damage. Okay. Well, the wooden structure's caught on fire. That's so pin 10. So this guy right here. Yeah. So that does penetrate. I could have sworn that there was a deflagrate thing in the. I mean, uh, all, I mean, with the penetration and the damage, you do penetrate any deal, deal damage there. So let's see that. Yeah. Oh, let me do some calculator. I'm guessing I don't uh, ammo rack this thing. No, not even close. So. Because even the but, orcs tanks have to have ammo racks in there somewhere. Yeah, it, but the wooden structure around is ablaze. It's yeah. gone. It, it's smoking gone. It no longer looks like a wagon. It just looks like a lemon rest tank on fire. Nice. Okay. Uh, you doing anything else? Uh, I mean, that's all I can do. It's okay, moving for for Sora go. Alrighty. I guess I'll just do it again. Oh God! <laughs> you're you're an annoying gnat, that's for sure. This is what I'm built to do. <laughs> oh wait, no, I can't do that. Never mind. I crouch, hide behind a rock, and I reload all my weapons. Hmm. That's my turn. Okay, uh, Birlo, go. All right, I want to look up. Selling. I've been looking up trying to find this deflagrate thing. All I can find is a bunch of forum posts of people making up a rule for it. Yeah, don't even worry about it. Yeah, fuck that. I'm not gonna do that. One guy said it should apply the flame quality in X meters around it, and I'm just like, why? <laughs> uh... So, I, I, I am seeing felling. I'm trying to find the definition for that one. That reduces toughness. Yeah, so... So that's what that does. So that's like the armor reduction, but it's for the actual toughness. Okay. And it's, I believe it's temporary when you shoot them. 
So Rook Teal is going to shoot at this guy, this big dumb idiot. <laughs> and uh Yeah, it's gonna be with vengeance rounds which have felling. Okay, oh, oh god. Let me found, found another one that's saying it should deal ten times damage after armor and toughness and deals an extra X D ten where X is the amount on the on the deflector. Yeah, no, you know, that's like, Munchkin. Come on, guy, what? Uh, I, you know, that's I forgot cool. to... You know, Prime I forgot to Munchkin. Is, is the... Ten oh, times damage or ten explosive damage? Ten yeah. times yeah. damage explosive. after all damage is dealt through armor and toughness, and then an extra XD10 where X is the first numeral in the ten slot of damage dealt with the attack. <laughs> So if they dealt 20 damage, they deal an extra 2d10 damage. What? That doesn't even make any sense. Alright. Uh, so... What's the modifier on the 2 hit for this guy? Also, well, side note, big? his version doesn't trigger Righteous Fury. Plus 20. Plus 20? Alright. There we go. It's going to hit. And there's the damage. Yep. With it felling. Tickles. It yeah, it tickles him. Oh boy. Okay, uh dude go. I'm assuming you're trying to get the hell out of Dodge. Run away. <laughs> you're lucky the tank can't just repeatedly <laughs> fire every turn. They have they have a timer or they have a set amount of time to reload. That would be kinda cheaty. Mm-hmm. Auto cannon. Dur, 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 dur. <laughs> oh god! Run away! Run! Yeah, it uh, reminds me of, uh. Was that? Twenty <laughs> pythons. Run away! Run away! Run away! <laughs> <laughs> and then they bravely ran away. So I'm seeing a bunch of stuff that's saying deflagrate. Or. Volkite weapons are superior against flesh, but absolutely suck against metal. So what? maybe they should just ignore toughness. That doesn't Bonus. make any sense. All right, uh, are you done, dude? No, I, I have four, three other characters, man. Yeah, yeah. I was just wondering. Ah, crazy. I mean, if I were to do it, I would just make the flag raise more toughness bonus, which is pretty strong in and of itself. Yeah. And by the way, you were firing their side armor, by the way. I'm sure you saw, noticed that. So I took their side armor to, to calculation there. Almost everyone ran, and the sniper rifle is ready to fire again. I will fire my sniper rifle towards the big guy. Okay. Uh, let's modify button. Uh, so let's 20. see. Plus 20, it's also half range, so 30. Hit. Righteous Fury. Okay. Unless I can't do that. Since it's a one shot thing. <laughs> so the first one hit. hit. Where, does that, where does that hit precisely? Because he does have armor. I'll... Um, 70. Or, no, wait, uh, 58 is what the roll was. So that's center torso. Okay, so... Okay. Got it. Okay. He does look annoyed that you did that. <laughs> As he, uh, shouldn't. Just yeah, he's like, like an he kind of just... Paused, looked and lo was kind of looking where that came from. He didn't quite see where it came from. Thunk, go. All right. Hmm. Run away! Run away! <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, that's my turn. 
Okay, it is their turn, so let's see. It's gonna be rear armor, right? On uh Titan, yeah. Yeah, so he's coming up. He's gonna be smacking you in the boom boom. That sounded dirty. Right, uh you're I guess he gets a plus twenty against you. So if you're a big large target like him, so Hey. Bigger clubber. Yeah. Hits you for that in the rear. Alright, so I have 52 armor, meaning... Uh, okay, so there's 25 pen. I'm just going to round to the nearest 10 for this. It's 27. Just to do it in my head, thank you. 27 gets through the armor. No. Sorry, 27 armor left. So you, you, sorry, you were taken, what? Okay, I have 52 armor. Right. It's pen 25. So right. it's going to be 68 minus 27. 27 armor. Yeah, so 68 minus 27. 41 damage. Get right, 41. Uh, so 55 minus 41 is approximately a lot. Or not a lot. <laughs> No, 41's getting through you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm imagining okay. that's his wound count is 50. Yeah, my wounds is 55. So this is going Oof. to do... Do you have any toughness bonus applying there? Uh, I do not, because I'm a vehicle, so I'm not affected by toughness. Oh. How much got through? 41? Mm-hmm. So I have, what, 18 left? Jeez, he is going to club you down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, why did you ignore him? Couldn't see him. No, it's not that I couldn't see him. Let's get the purple rock, remember? <laughs> okay, so... And now the tower is going to fire at you. Uh-oh. And it's going to deal that much damage to your front. Front or side? Which tower is shooting? The the one that you set ablaze. Okay, so that would be front. Um, right, and you're going to lose uh, 20 armor. Or actually, it's a 1d10. Hold on, it's a 1d10. That's what it says. So, so my frontal armor is already weakened to 42. Yeah, yeah you're going to lose 9 more. So I lose. Sorry, right, so I need go armor. to. It's a ribbon. Thirty-three armor now in the front. I think you take the damage before you lose the armor. Yeah. Yeah, you take the damage before you lose the armor. Armor. I'm, ju armor. I'm just yeah. marking it here. So the armor, the damage doesn't get through you. I think does it. I mean, twenty, thirty. Does that does that it's get not... you before you take the armor reduction? Well, I have forty-two armor before the armor reduction. So, yeah, that's going to get through, and... So, 42 minus 10 20. damage? Minus 20 is 22. It's 32. Oh, yeah. Min yeah. yeah, it's going to do damage. 10 damage. So, I'm okay. down to 8 HP already. <laughs> Not looking good for me here. Yeah, don't don't hate me. Um, so, the so other you, did fire, you did fire at the lead tank. Yes. And he already shot his shot. He can't shoot. But the second tank... Uh, you might... Here, hold up. I'm going to see. It might be an obscured shot, so you might be saved there. I, th I think it is. Oh, nope. He can actually... He can see and hit you. All right. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Are you prepared for this? Hell no, I'm not. Fucking hit me with it. All right. I don't think I can dodge either. No, nope. you dodged early, remember? <laughs> yeah, that, that was for the catapult thing. Yeah, so you're taking. Yeah, I think you're down. Oh yeah, you're can not I... dead. You're down. You want a fate point to make him re-roll that? The the hit, yeah. Or the roll. So he's the gonna take roll a hit. The ranged attack. So he missed. 
So now he missed. It just does, barely misses you. Z uh, does that hit? Does it hit the big one? Does not hit the dreadnought. No, the uh, does orc it hit guy. The guy behind me. No, I don't think it's that big of a fail to do that. Yeah. So. Aww. So. Would have been funny. <laughs> no. I mean, it wouldn't have done much anyway. Okay. And then the orcs are moving up. This way, and then... Wouldn't, uh... Because he's engaged in melee with the big orc, wouldn't that incur, uh, melee bonuses, or penalties for shooting in the melee, which means if you miss, you have a chance of hitting the guy? That is true, so... He hits the guy. So, that actually, I think that gets... So, let me see. So if he has more than, uh... Oh, yeah, he does. Uh, let's see. By the way, I got about another 20 minutes left, tops. So it's up to you guys if you guys want to continue fighting these guys. Uh, Neil Tyson, go. Um... I think that's every... Oh, yeah. Well, these three guys, they bail. So, better part of Valor or go down swinging? What do you guys think? Run away! All right. <laughs> Run away! Uh, <laughs> Neil Tyson decides that uh, he who runs away lives to fight another day and uh, immediately disengages. Now, I'm in melee range, so I think this, this guy right here... I would recommend going in the direction away from the tanks. That's what I'm doing. So you take an attack of opportunity is what you're saying? Yes. Yes. Unless you have some... some Let's uh, go ahead and roll that. Uh, yeah. Okay, he missed. Phew. And now he missed, he drops, he chucks his club. Uh-oh. <laughs> or is the t bunker. <laughs> 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 nine, nine meters away from him, so he has to go fetch his club. So it's oh, man. that's within arm's reach for him, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he basically just drops his club. You're right. He just drops his club. He tries to swing at you. Woo! Woo! So he has to spend a turn picking it up. So it bought you some time. All right. And uh, once I get here, I'm going to position myself side on because, ironically, my side armor is the toughest right now. After the horrendous beating I've been taking. Well, his he doesn't reduce armor, so I don't think... Unless your armor got in the rear, or the rear armor is just weak? No, the rear armor is generally the weakest, but my... To give you an idea, my side armor is 61 right now, my rear is 52, <laughs> and my front is 33. Yeah, you've taken... You've taken... Any... Yeah, this would have killed dude Dominguez... Run yeah. away! Run away! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're the yeah. Those tanks are spending their time reloading now, so they're not they're not moving. You don't see them moving, so they're just. Boop. Is that your turn? Yeah. All right, Brasora, go. But now, now you know I can jump in and shoot him a bunch. <laughs> right. But now you know what that big so, orc's capable of. So that big orc, how how damaged is he? Ah, uh, he looks not much phased at all. Ooh. Damn. Okay, that's gonna be tricky now since he moved a bit. In fact, he he does have some singes and then some holes where you blast him. Uh, but he looks more annoyed than anything. He's just it would screaming be, blood core. It would, it would be funny if he actually chucked his club into the acid and then had to do an intelligence check to see whether or not to jump into the acid. <laughs> 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 Uh, he's only, it's like it's just a melee swing, so it's like I wasn't gonna do crazy amount. Yeah, they're, they're big, not the tyrannous test. Yeah, <laughs> big clubber. Well, I mean, yeah. they, they, I mean, uh, Thunk did destroy two towers without even trying. Yeah, three. <laughs> it's a skill. Well, the third yep. one was against one of your guys. The 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 two. Oh, the, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, the two the were same against technique. Thunk. Yeah, same technique, but Thunk. Okay. And 
Let's Holy see. crap. Thunkalorn from Best Space Marine, Captain Anseus. Anseus, now where have I heard that name yeah, before? Yeah, that's a lot of twenty-twos. Vary it up. Those work heavily varied, but they're all in the same way. Right. It's like uh, when you're rolling a d6 or two d6, there's a bias towards rolling a seven. It's kind of like that. Da -da -da. Oh, there's a couple, there's a couple Meltas in there as well. Okay, so his armor's technically gone. they're all Melta. Oh well, then he has no armor then. So yeah, he just takes. Oh wait, I think I rolled the wrong one. No, no, I didn't. Know. <laughs> they're all Melta. Hold on. They're, they're have... sorry, the the name of it confused me for a second. It's the same weapon. Okay, so one, four. He... 261 total damage. Uh, he might be almost dead. Uh... Okay. He's still up. <sighs> um, is it back he looks, this rock because he moved? He looks a little frazzled, for sure, what you just did. His, like, the... What you appears to be kind of armor to you is now gone. It does look like it was just metal stitched together. It's melted slag now. Yeah, it's just melted slag, and you just see his raw muscles, and him just like... Look in your general direction. I'm hiding he's... behind a rock now. Yeah, and he's flexing his muscles. Okay, uh, Virlo, go. Uh, I'm going to do a called shot to the back of this guy's head. Okay. Now that he's turned away. Are these guys still alive? Yeah, they're they're running out. They actually moved that turn to here. So. Gotcha. Uh, I want to look at something here. Okay, so called shot is minus ten, right? Mm -hmm. And then he's a big target. Yep. Plus so. 20. So in total, that's going to be plus 10. Okay. Okay, All right, there we go. And... All right. 21, pen 9, uh, yep. felling. Yep, he looks annoyed. Damn. Bonked him right in the head. In the back okay. of the head, mind you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dude, go. Okay. Uh... Let's see. Rokai will fire the... Where's Rokai? I just love how it looks like green puke. With all this oh, shit yeah. they blast you guys with. I mean, knowing the orcs, it's appropriate. What was that? Who was that against? Against these groups of orcs. It's right next, like, about maximum range. Oh, are you not going to shoot the big, the big guy? Oh, he's out of range, so I'm just going to take care of the smaller guys and then focus well, you can, on that. You can shoot right, if okay. he's out of range. You just get a penalty on your two-hit roll. Well, it, I don't know. Thing... Taking out the smaller targets might be a good choice here. Yeah. Especially yeah. on a heavy yeah. bolter. Especially on a, with a heavy bolter. Yeah, yeah. They're, all, yeah. they're all dead. Yeah. yeah. No, that, that's more than enough damage to kill all three of them. Okay. Uh, need to decrement the Sweet. counter. Need one more turn for... Graven to shoot his rifle. That goes down. You're decrementing? Is that you some minus minus operator? Decrement. Yeah. So we run over here. Can't do anything. Jericho. Oh wait, wrong guy. This guy. Here. Yeah, that'd be interesting. You'd have to if if the dreadnought went down, you'd have to you would have to salvage uh his core after the battle somehow. Yeah. You'd just be sealed in your dreadnought. You wouldn't be dead dead. You'd just be sealed in that coffin. The sarcophagus. So, yep. Yeah. Sarcophagus. Oh, that's cannon is two hundred. So that's actually. Well, 20. you can also 
If we were able to, we can also recover the entire Dreadnought for repairs, but that would be a lot more difficult. So that's half range. So that's plus 20, plus 40. And he's big, that's what, plus 10? Yeah, plus 20. Plus 20. Okay, do your damage. Jesus. Minus 46. He's starting to look kind of uh, winded here after that shot. Kind of like, where'd that hit exactly? Uh, let's see. It's, uh, 20. So in the head. Nope, it's 20. You got to reverse it, remember? Where 20 is, it? is 20 the right, is... Ar right arm. Yeah. Yeah, you put a hole through his arm. Nice. Is that his club swinging arm? He hasn't picked up his club yet. <laughs> but is he right-handed or left-handed orc? He's right-handed. So, yeah, probably disabled his club swinging arm. Okay. And that's it. Thunk, go. I'm going to do a call shot headshot on the big boy. damage now I get to reroll one of these are you dealing more damage or just rerolling something uh it's tearing so I get to replace the two with a five so it actually did two more damage or uh, three more damage so it did 40 damage with pin 15 okay yeah he's looking uh, mighty injured there now he blasted him in the face he looks like he's on his last legs. Oh, after that. damn. Alright, that was my turn. Okay. I think I fired too many shots out of one of my pistols. It's fine. Uh, Thunk, Thunk. My bad. It's, it's, he's going to I mean, be... I mean, it was 90 damage you shouldn't have taken there. Man. Actually, That's up to you. yeah, he's gonna... He's going to... Pick up his club with his left arm. And then go over to you, and that's his turn. Uh... And the tanks are going to now move. See them move. Oh, come on. Go th Can we do an intelligence check to see if they go through the acid? Sure. <laughs> uh, for you, for you brah. <laughs> Let me... Let's see. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yep, yeah, they're just gonna pile on through. Damn! It's, dissolve, it's dissolving their track. The first one, it dissolves their tracks, and he stops moving. Nice, mobilized. <laughs> what is their all of their intelligence is twenty five? <laughs> uh. Oh, that's funny. That's one point higher than me. Oh my! <laughs> and this oh. guy goes in there, and he dies immediately. This guy, you see him kind of poke his head up, look around, and then he runs this way. These guys are retreating. And this guy goes in the acid and kills himself too. Because <laughs> he just sees a big target and dies. Okay, and Neil Tyson, go. All right. So, uh, I'm in melee range with this guy again, so oh, yeah. I'm going to attack him with my Dreadnought Chain Fist. And what's the modifier on the two hit in melee? Plus 20. It's just flat. Plus 20? Alright. Yeah, it's to give you a plus 20 in this one. Okay. Okay, it hits. Do your damage. And then describe how you kill him. <laughs> Oh, okay. He's mega dead, so he had like 20 HP. Oh, my uh, unnatural strength bonus applies to that. That's why it's so fucking massive, the damage. You should have been, been meleeing him back. You would have killed him off the rip. I didn't Two even hit. realize that. Holy you would have killed him. Yeah, his club is nowhere near as deadly as yours. You could have burned him down faster than he could burn you down. So, uh, Neil Tyson, uh, very much... 
angered from his lack of armor and being clubbed in the back, revs his chain fist menacingly before plunging it through the chest of this giant orc and uh, ripping out his heart. And then, uh, while the orc is still staggering, kicks him over. And he's dead. And... For the Emperor! That's the end of the engagement. All the other orcs are now bailing the tanks and retreating. Nice. I continuously fire upon them as they retreat. Same here. I mean, we can easily catch up to them, too. I'm going to assume you kill them all. Our, our vehicles are dead. Yeah, yep. they're, super, they're super melted. They're super dead. Oh, that's 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 next time on Dragon Ball Z. Yeah, there's, there is a... <laughs> well, there if is we a, can steal their tanks... There is have, a... You know, there's a walk. One intact tank right there. Next time on Dragon Ball Z, Goku spends 12 episodes going Super Saiyan. So I'm going to Next time my Japanese version of Dragon Ball Z, they get right to the point. <laughs> <laughs> uh okay, ooh, ooh. Hold up. Oh, I just realized that I did that attack as fear low. That's not why I meant to do it. Oh well. Twenty five hundred experience. Forty five hundred? Twenty five. No. <laughs> you wanted that XP, didn't you? So, I yeah. don't know what to do with it anymore. Yeah. So that camp is practically destroyed. Or, yeah, I'll just I'll I'll leave the word camp to where you blew it up. So camp, and then the green circle. You've now secured that camp. I mean, I'm so glad I did not get hurt. <laughs> that was so close. Point, you're so close to getting vaporized, yes. Because, <laughs> like, yeah, they're going to just... They're going to see that resistance, and they're going to move up and use the big fuck-off cannon. They even had spray... The, they replaced the machine guns with sprayers. Not the super sprayers, but sprayers. But you're outside of range with that one. But it would have sprayed you down. You would have got twin sprayed down. Mm-hmm. So... No more artillery. Now, was that the only one that had artillery? I guess we'll find out. Well, we killed the other camp. No, you that killed... That one on the way through. No, you... No. That's not... You did. You killed... You killed... You killed a Coper's four... Coper's guy was running towards his camp, and we met him at the camp and killed them all. You killed That the... was the camp that we just... just did. Yeah, the, where yeah. the green's at. The... Oh, I thought it was that the was, first. No, 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 no. The first. Yeah, yeah. That we was like off. the. That was the outskirts of the first camp that we killed. That wasn't even the camp. We were like five miles away from the first camp then. Yep, exactly. Yeah. A little bit was, more than outskirts. Yeah, outskirts. Those are their scouting parties for that camp. Yep. So, because it was just a couple of killer cans and some orcs. All right. So, what are you, what are you, what are you going to do, Taz? Are you going to try to repair yourself somehow, or? Yeah, I mean, I don't really. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, damn. I don't really have much of a choice. I'm going to have to do some repairs, or else I'm as good as dead. Because the, I'm going to tell you now, the main fortress that you're going to be assaulting is probably 10x what you just encountered. That little artillery camp. Yeah, we're not ready for that. With the sprayers and the rockets and... <coughs> to be fair, none of the rest of us got hit at all, so... Well, well. With, with some luck. <laughs> yeah. You literally had a... <laughs> Dude almost got wiped from the map. Like, yeah. Almost only counts in hand grenades and horseshoes. Sure. <laughs> but that was a pretty... I think that was probably the, one of the most intense fights you guys had. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. easily. I think it's the first time we actually ran away. <laughs> I think. Ran away. <laughs> I think the uh, the demon prince was like still the toughest fight that we've ever had. The oh, that one dragon. That... Yeah. It was the demon prince. I think that we fought um, on that ship on the third. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It wasn't a demon prince. 
Oh. That was the dragon. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was yeah. like a big slug. <laughs> Is a dragon slug Giant thing? Slug. Thing how about you talking about the thing wrapped around the reactor? Yeah. The one that took the ship. Yeah. yeah. And the one sinking into the ground and everything. The warp creature thing. Yeah. See, uh, all we have to do to kill a giant slug is get a giant salt shaker. Yeah. That was a grenade. We used a holy salt grenade. You know what we're gonna <laughs> have to do there, Tess? Is take some of this this footage that you you have and then uh, use AI art to generate like a storyboard thing <laughs> with your guys' voiceover and Hell then you yeah. modify it, your voice to sound like Space Marines. I mean, <laughs> talking about like editing the vi actual editing editing into actual videos. So, yeah, plays I mean, out that's your story, right? That's the idea. It, you know, it's kind of like, um, what is it, Critical Role, where they take all their sessions that they actually do and then they animate it later or whatever. Yeah, I don't yeah. think I'm going to be animated by uh, it. Well, it's they, not they, quite they, how that went. They, they, they post they, uh... the full view, the full hour hours long sessions at a time. And yeah, later man. they raised it. Funding thing to make an animated series based on the first campaign. God. Yeah, on top of that, by have, paying an animation house to do it. Yeah, on top of from Amazon. On top yeah. of that, they actually have but fans. Fair, that make Amazon art, did so. not give them any money at all. It was all crowdfunded. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The the first two seasons, and I think the first season of Money Nine, uh, but they still needed to get some backing. Uh, besides just publishing house, uh, so I think Amazon helped with that. It wasn't like Amazon funding everything, but Amazon still I think helps in some way more than just being a platform to publish on. Well, because yeah. it is an Amazon Prime thing. Yeah, Amazon's some, just putting it on there. Here's some food for thought for uh, anyone watching these videos in retrospect. Everything that I upload on my YouTube channel is Creative Commons Attribution License. So, basically what I'm saying is that anyone who, like, watches this series, if they want to, like, iterate on it creatively, they have the rights to do that. You don't have the rights to my character, fuck you. Yeah. Harold, okay. <laughs> I was gonna say, similar to the Ray, what Ray William Johnson does, he actually shows, uh, he shows what he does. Damn, Ray Williams yeah. Johnson. I haven't heard that name in a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's how he does those those things. So he does kind of like he uses AI art to generate those little slides. I'm not a huge fan of the whole like AI art thing, to be honest. But I mean, We're for something free. like this, it could work. Free, it's possibly. F R E E free. Yep. Now, well, if, I, if I was just remember, if, if a product or service is free, that means you are the product. Sure. They're training their AI to replace artists to then sell that service to other people. I, I, I get what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're oh, the just artists really... hate that, by the way. Oh, I know they do, but I would say um, to them, they need to adapt. Because it's, it's, the corporations are going to replace even developers. A whole um, bunch of artists just uh, went pro on protest, basically yep. quit for, God, who was it? Disney? Yeah. I, I think know. that feels right. No, some... uh, Hollywood and the the whole anybody involved with the actors guilds or the writers guild cannot use AI. Also, yeah. Disney. So, oh, Hollywood that's right. has AI. No, I think it was something. Out. I feel like no. This is the video. Game. I don't. I don't no, think it, it was the movie industry. Might this be a game. Separate. It might have. Been, I don't remember what big company did this for though, but they just like no, can't use AI anymore in video games. Or at least uh, all the artists were just like, no, we're, we're going to have no part of that. And you're know protesting it. But I yeah, don't which, remember, which, I remember, I remember what you're talking company. about. I, I remember that. I just don't remember the details. There was a writer well, it's actor recent, protest. It's like a, that was a I couple of years was, ago. No, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. It was it was this year. No, it, it was, was like last January. Year. They may have resolved it in January, but it was still like last year kind of a thing. They, that was the big... Thing that they were doing, but no, the the artist thing is this year, like it just happened, like this last this month. The Hollywood writers were last year. Yeah. Also, uh, Disney recently got and hacked by furries. That's hilarious. 
Yeah. It's, you know, Disney it's, is furries. What are yeah. you talking about? You know, it's funny though. <laughs> I, I, I saw an article talking about AI art and all those stuff, writing as well, that it's a self-correcting error because it's training off the internet. Well, since there's more AI art going out there, it's training off shit data already. Yeah. So it's making the art worse. Kind of like well, with the uh, uh, chat GPT. It's getting dumber, they say, right? It's training off bad data. Well, well, if you're going to train it off of Reddit or Twitter, then yeah, of course it's going to uh, fucking uh, suck. Yeah. <laughs> but no, but oh, the for internet our, yeah, but for our series, that, <laughs> that anime style, I think that's, a, that's appropriate. So I might take our first session ever and then do a test. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of that. yeah. Just See what idea. happens. You might get issues with uh, quality. Warhammer's parent company. Oh no 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 no! These are space marines. Forty eight space marines. Right. But it's also free, so we'll see. We'll see. Well, I mean, it's not like we're selling it, and as far as I know, Games Workshop is not like Nintendo when it comes to people They're literally doing anything with their, their own IPs. Point, eh? They're up there, though. They're definitely up there. But I think they mainly. Well, care I don't think Nintendo has a RPG system out there like this. Right. No. But if they did, they would be shutting down every single fan project imaginable. Right. But if if uh, was it what is that uh, we just talked about the D and D thing. If they can do that, I'm sure we we're fine. Anyway. Technically, they made their own thing, and then they were also partnered with D and D for a very, very long time. That's funny. I think they're they've been partnered with D and D since I think the middle of the first campaign, so at least six Ugh. years. Yeah, I think if Tess can upload his raw just footage, it's fine. I think it's we're we're, we're fine. Yeah, as long as he's not trying to monetize his channel. But remember, it also needs a lot of views before it causes a problem. That's true. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not worried See, about that. Monetizing uh, my YouTube channel is about the last thing that I care about. The entire point of me uploading any videos there at all is more to, um, it's more for posterity for myself, and it's it's kind of just, it's just a hobby. I don't care about monetizing YouTube because. Yeah, Making, and it should be fine. There should be no legal actions able to be taken. Because a lot of people, right, they'll go into YouTube or Twitch or whatever with the mentality where, oh, I'm going to do this to make money. And see, the problem oh, is at that point, YouTube or Twitch is your employer. So <laughs> what they can do is they can completely cut you off of their uh, revenue stream. Like, they can just walk in and destroy everything you've created at any point in time just for the hell of it and you have no recourse so it's like why would I want to do business with YouTube or Twitch if they can just do that it's price score versus reward man yeah I mean people don't think of it that way though like people think oh well YouTube people think YouTube is just a site where I can upload videos and make money no YouTube is your employer so, I keep forgetting that people aren't as smart as they should be. You mean you keep <laughs> forgetting what planet you live on and yes. how dumb everyone is? Yeah. Yes. Planet of the six billion dumbasses. Like, <laughs> like people who think that um, uh, getting banned from Twitter is a violation of their freedom of speech when Twitter is not a government entity. And only government entities uh, are beholden to uh, First Amendment, whereas Twitter is a private company. And then Elon comes in, oh, it's going to be a free speech platform. Yeah, he's censoring people still. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, rant done. Um, I got to be somewhere, so I will see you all next week. All right, see ya. Yeah, see ya.